What is up, everybody? Oh, this. Oh, it's just, uh. Get my light up. <laughs> Hold on a second. How's everybody doing on this Thursday? Thursday evening. Just get my light up. I got a good one for everyone today. Hey, Miss Moonbear, what's up? Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm just putting the light up, otherwise I look too dark. Uh. Uh. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our Draven script, and I'm your host, Draven. Good afternoon, Harper Meadows. How you doing? I saw you in the chat the other day. Oh, uh, what's up? Uh, listen, I know uh, there's a couple of people live right now, but as long as if you want to come in, say something, and then watch uh, uh, the other person, and then come back or watch me later, as long as you watch me at some point and get a thank you, thanks, honey. Um, you know, I'm I'm okay with that, but uh. Getting extreme place ready for today. How are you feeling? Uh, uh, as good as could be considered, right? So this video that I'm going to look at, and again, um, the people that give me this, there's about three people that give me um, Trisha information, and uh, two of them do not want to be identified because they are that scared to death of this woman. And that's just telling, because if you're that scared of her, whatever she does, uh, there's a list of cronies I saw that uh, Trisha has um, and there was like a whole list and that uh, someone was writing and then I, I, I was in ATX and Tomahawk's chat yesterday and uh, Tomahawk aka Sean said that he would have said something but I guess there's some people who don't like them yeah it's all bad yeah and you know I, I, I know when, when communities get involved you know it's basically to bring pressure off her heart. I can't say that Sean didn't do anything wrong. Even he didn't agree with everything I said. I was just coming from my own point of view. And just learning the story, I can't say if someone was good or bad, but as long as they were willing to do better, I feel like that's all that counts. We all make mistakes. But without further ado, uh, let's get into this. Like I said, it was hard to get this, a copy of this. I had to fast forward an hour and a half because she, Trisha was just talking about herself. And then this, other big woman starts talking to her, but this is right before Scammy gets in. I guess. And fast forward it. Phrases. Someone can bring out the good in people. I bring out yeah. the anger in people. I do as well. Well, I've got so many people Maybe that you're a liar. go after yeah. me for no reason. Like they go after me because why I'm fat. So well, what? Fat. So what? There's uh, beautiful Shani. Yeah, hey. Speaking of fat. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. 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 I How are you? Before. I'm great. How are you? I personally feel like uh, a lot of people said this too that that what Trish is trying to do is reinvent her channel with Shani's audience, and whether that's good or bad, people were telling her you shouldn't do that because that's just going to exacerbate her problem. You know, people do not. She's loud. Who's Shani? <laughs> She's always loud. Um, you know, it's just going to bring more of a problem because people do not like Shani over her child abuse. And her lies and abusing, um, I think, what, a fundraiser. She's done all, all, all sorts of horrible stuff. So I don't think uh, buddying up to Shani's uh, people that don't like her is going to help Trisha's channel or help her fix her channel. I'm good. This is the first time we've ever talked, so I You're love so it. Pretty. you so pretty. Wow. See, that's why they're so jealous. I got pretty people here on my chat. I'm a cool That's right. <laughs> Oh, oh, how are you doing? Who, uh, Miss Moonbear, who, what back person? I saw that, uh, the Jeremy's Ma was writing some stuff and she said that a couple people, uh, are not good or they're on Trisha's side. And just because someone helped, uh, uh Trisha out in the past doesn't mean that they're still on her side. People make mistakes. 
Uh, like I said, I'm still learning. She, right. Yes. I'm doing good. How are you? Like the stream, folks. There, you know. I loved that date in line stream. That was so funny. <laughs> I want to do it again. Well, it's late tonight. Maybe it's hell. I don't have an appointment until 10 a.m. So. Yeah, I, I just noticed this. Why does Trisha have a jug of milk in her bedroom? Um, just throwing that out there. Uh, why? Like, okay, doesn't milk go bad <laughs> if you just let out, not in the fridge? I don't know. It's just interesting. It looks like a jug of milk. And I haven't slept for two days, so I'm on a roll. You know, insomnia oh. sucks. Now, wait, how old are you two? How old are I'm you? I'm 38. I'm 39. I just turned 39. I hate it. <laughs> I'll be 44, so I'm older than both you guys. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, but you're prettier, so... <laughs> Wrong. I, I, I even said that to myself the other day. I said, if I can look just as good as freaking... To me, Shani always looks... Either she just came out of a drunken stupor, or uh, she just woke up, got rolled off out of bed. Like, she never looks, like, prepared to make a YouTube video. She doesn't wash herself. Like, I just... I hate watching her, because it's always the same thing. Smeared makeup all over her face. This surprised look of... Either she needs drugs or just came out from doing drugs. Just a similar thing. Like, she just looks bad. With all that money that her and Rev wasted on, on shit, I hate the fact that she can't even get a decent camera. She's at 44, 45, I don't care. Like, you know, they like to say 45, but I sure as hell hope yeah. my face. Never again, listen, never again will I ever cry over a man to make my face look like an inside out basketball. That was the most horrible oh, thing yes, ever. You I saw would. my face and I like, you aged thought it would 10 give years you views. in like, a matter of whatever, like all of the. Mm. It, crying just sucks everything out of you and i've been it's taken me like eight months to rehydrate myself <laughs> that's um, why i don't like crying i don't normally cry but anyway like, hey dude brother this was, like, what's up my first real heartbreak like that was real that was oh was it wasn't yeah. fake like, but everything else you it would have been hard on you. I'll be quite honest with you. If I broke up with my partner I've been with for nearly eight years, um, I'd be absolutely heartbroken myself. Like I'd be crying in my bed, not getting out of bed. Um, I would have to get one of my sisters to come get me. Oh, you know, my sister would come around and freaking put me out of bed, basically, <laughs> you know, to get me off the freaking uh, out of that depression, like, depressive yeah, cycle, there. you know. Because I, as I, as I said, I suffer bipolar. So like, as soon as yeah. Uh, oh, maybe Miss Moonberry, is this person on top here? This Beck person? Because I know. I I know she says something about using racial slurs, and Shani kind of laughs, you know, in agreement. Like, yeah, like they don't care. They'll say they'll say the N word all day. They just no no f's given to for these two. I'm down. I'm down for the count for a while, anyway. So you know, yeah. No, Shani, this is the first time we ever got to really talk to you. I'm so happy. Like you know Beck, right? Oh, this no, is Beck. I've okay. never seen her actually. No, I, I know you. Of course. Oh no. I've seen I, videos and stuff, but like I, I've never I, been involved in any of it, so I stayed away. Say this. I've never looked you up. Like <laughs> I've heard little bits what stupid people say that yeah, people, people like, would say, but I've never I don't oh, which I, one is in a cave? Beck? I I don't know. Uh I know whoever sounds the best right now is actually Trisha. Uh Shani has this eight hundred dollar mic that she swears is the best mic ever, but she always sounds like trash. And this, I think she's across the pond, but you know, that doesn't give an excuse. You know, Villa Vendetta can make videos sounding normal. So it really is, I don't know, just cheap hardware. <laughs> fair because I don't like it if someone looks me up or hears my name and makes a presupposition about Rosa me. Rosa Parks on the internet, the right? To explain, that hey, I was well. a bad day, or this is what was going on. So when I yeah, saw you, I was like, you're beautiful. I want to know you like, Thank I'm you. Good to know you. I don't need to hear what other haters have to say because yeah, I, I'm a mom of two teenage boys. Um, are they teenagers now? They're 13 and 15. Whoa! Wow. They only feels like yesterday they were 10. Like yeah. they were 10 years old. <laughs> like, not babies anymore. Like, My oldest yeah. is taller yeah. than me, and he's got a deep voice, and he's like, "Hey, mom, how are you?" You know, not everyone does what I do uh, when they react to lock these lock house. Uh, there's channels out there that just let the video speak for itself so yeah and that's how's that from haters like i'm actually given like my opinion but there's enough channels that just show their content unaltered and just showing the awful racist disgusting shit that they always say oh all right <laughs> i don't want that <laughs> i don't have children by the way I'm a, lack of effort, I'm, yeah. no i'm not single but i've got no kids i've got three but they're my they're my kids so yeah. well, we're supposed to raise our kids right till they're 40 so they say so, i'm always mom i'm still mom so yeah, yeah you'll, be, I, you'll be a mom for the rest of your life it doesn't really matter if you yeah. um, if they move out of home and get married 
This from a woman that only sees her kid once a week. She's still mom. Okay, Trish. Uh, nice try. <laughs> right? You see your kid, what, once or twice a week? Give me a break. That's not a mother. Fuck, once a week. It's been like mother. that for years. So, you know, I, I respect moms for that reason. So, so, yeah. I've also been on YouTube for... God. <laughs> I, since 2007, so... Wow. So Lisa's, you're one of the OGs. Like, Lisa, like, she, at least she's not saying 20 years anymore. <laughs> because they, well, they opened up their servers in 2000. Yeah, the and mic. 2000. Hey, we've got a caller. We've got a caller on the complaint line. Oh, oh great. Let's do this complaint hello. line. Hello, you've called the Trisha complaint line, and they hung up. <laughs> oh, damn. I love it when they hung up. up on them. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're a vlogger. You're a mom. And you're really beautiful. You do makeup, and you're just enjoying what? yourself. Doing what you do. To Yo, does Trisha have like eyesight problems? Is she like maybe a little bit blind? If she thinks these two women are beautiful, <laughs> I hate to be petty like that, but come on. It makes you happy, right? Exactly. Yeah. But the haters, on the other hand, say oh, yeah. all these we other all things had that space. I'm not. They mm -hmm. call me abusive. They they call me a a, a god, a liar, a Satan worshiper. Uh, I'm a drug user. Drug, yeah. Uh, yeah. All this other stuff. It's all made up. But they've <laughs> they've they've broken into my house before. They've gotten me swatted. So like, no, no, she never was swatted. Having a, a welfare check because you're telling uh, people online that Rev is gonna kill you and your children is not swatted. That's a welfare check. All the videos that you have, and I have a ton of these of smoking pot right in front of your kids, right in front of your like what ten year old, nine year old kid at the time. Uh, that's drug use because you were in an area where marijuana wasn't legal. That's why you moved to Colorado, Shani. Fuck, man. These lies that she fucking likes to say. You know, she forgets that we have receipts of all these. When you talk about all these, like, things that's happened to you because of these haters, I completely 100% understand because I've gone through it all. They call CPS on me, like, every week. Here we go. They, got, uh, they hang up. Yep. What is this? They I can't don't know. do anything. I'm not trying to interrupt. We're trying to get these haulers. Come on, say something. Yeah, so that's what they do to me. That's yeah. why I have such a bad reputation, but I'm not yeah. like what these people try to place me as. I'm, I'm not understand. like, I'm just, I'm just a regular woman, woman who's just, you know, I like doing yeah. YouTube. I've been doing it yeah. since 2007. Yeah, I've been here since 2000 and end of 2017. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but I had my channel since 2014 and I had three subscribers when I first started. <laughs> stop doing what makes us happy. Like, if Hold they don't work, us, don't watch us. Like, yeah. you know, obviously we've gone through some things in our life. Obviously we've gone through what we've gone through and the, the, the ability to our. What I want to show there was, uh, Rev saying to her kid that she was going to, he's going to get his ass beat. So these are all lies. Shit. Here's a little proof Jason for everybody. Jason William Egros, stop this. No, I won't. You're not a mother. You don't say anything. We made it all up, folks. It's so all made up. I'm sick of it. I literally was saying something. And those are her poor kids back there being crushed by all the all the all the shit that they had piled into that into that uh, truck because they had to like drug addicts move out of their condo in the middle of the night. But we well, made I'm it sick up. Of it. Yeah, I'm sick of it too, Rev. That was disgusting. <laughs> well, yeah, onto her. Articulate and communicate is an ability that not many people have, and it takes a really long time to have that courage and the bravery to speak up and say, "Hey, yeah. here we yeah. go. This person's going to spam. You're on the call. Say something." Mm. Guess not. But anyway, it, it takes a lot of courage for for us to to listen to our inner voices. And I'm not anyone with a psychology degree. I just know because this is what I've gone through. Mm. But our okay. inner voices that we grapple with, that we fight with, and our intuitions and our instincts and yeah, uh, yeah we we and crazy Nanny, we we had a whole we were following the whole thing of Sandy for Christ's descent into madness, whether it comes to uh, screaming at the kids, the drug use, uh, the state of her of her condo, uh, same racial slurs. We have everything. So we didn't tell them to do that. She really has no, uh, I'd rather her apologize for that than just to say it's all made up. Ridiculous. How many of us get pulled in so many different directions? Walked hey Jude, all over, what's up? Treated like shit all the time. And all we want is our place in the world. 
our place mm -hmm. oh it's wednesday i thought it was thursday happy wednesday <laughs> nobody should be taking care of you oh okay then i don't need to take care of you then oh but you have to hey kitty what's up thank uh, uh great to have you hey look renee's here you're so nice do this for us we'll she's nice modern to you. so now you know what fuck them <laughs> they've pushed me to that point where it's like I'm not the nice person that you oh, want okay. to do. Maybe we'll no, check also, it out. Trisha, also, uh, I lived in North Carolina most of my life, so I... Me too. Yes. I lived in the Raleigh area. Oh, wow. Oh, that's where my stalker lives. <laughs> oh, my. I love this when she says these things, and then when people like will be like, didn't you live there? She'll be like, what, are you stalking me? Shani forgets everybody. Um, She forgets the claims she says, because she'll say claims and basically docks herself all the time and then gets high and forgets so that's not our fault when you ask her a question she'll turn it around and make it seem like you're the stalker when uh she's the one who gave you the information yes oh wow yeah so i'm very like much stream, I, I know you're like you're on the coast yeah yeah, yeah. i got i got married my first marriage on myrtle beach oh and, wow. and, and you were at it where you know the stairs her first marriage uh uh no you're only a marriage oh, no actually no she was married to doug legit and then she was married to chris legitimate um rev jason whatever you want to call them idiot avocados they're not married uh, they were they thought they were common law married but once they moved to pennsylvania pennsylvania has no common law marriage hasn't had it over a hundred years so they are definitely not married they are just roommates at this point just throwing it out there at Myrtle Beach that you went down. Those were the same <laughs> stairs that I went down in my wedding dress. Right, Miss Moonbear? I don't oh know. I just saw that Thursday. I'm like, oh my gosh. Is that? Oh, wow. That's amazing how... So what did she just say? She's like, I saw stairs and I'm like, oh my gosh, I ain't gonna be able to climb those. Yeah. <laughs> there was like a Big that. Mac at the end, that. she would. So you can be somewhere it reminds you of. And, you know, one of the things that I noticed about this whole platform, it's, it's something that we can use that's fun, but also yeah. at the same time, like, I want it to be educational. I want it to be where, hey, I want people to learn from me something so they don't have to go through it. Like, Beck, if you're going through a challenge or whatever, I want you to see me and be like, damn, she fucked up. Yeah, see, there's people calling and she's just not picking up the phone. I mean, I just noticed it because this is actually the first time I got to really sit down and watch this. So people are calling her. She's just not picking up, maybe because she knows the caller ID for one and for two. Uh, yeah, they're in Scranton now. I don't know exactly where. I just know it's somewhere in Scranton, Pennsylvania, where Rev is his childhood home that uh, he sold to G-Man for a dollar because Shani said some racist things toward him and she made him sell their house for a dollar, which they turned around and said, we need to move in because we have no place to go because Rev's uncle kicked him out because Shani was being disgusting and not washing and just keeping making uh, her or Jason's uncle's home a complete mess. I'm not doing it that way. No, no. And that's one, like, you know, like, I'm going to be quite honest with you, okay? Yeah, right. <laughs> my, my, my bipolar is like, I can be a clean freak when I'm normal and I'm not manic or anything like that. But as soon as I'm manic, my house is a bomb. Like, it's just a bomb's going off in it. And I try. Look at Shani. Oh, yeah. I saw, yeah. More like her house, yeah, bomb went off because it's disgusting. Are you kidding me? There's an arrest video we have. Where the, the police came in to arrest her, and she still had her Christmas tree up, and it was what July, a bunch of clothes like on the kitchen table. You know they're not eating there; they just eat on the floor. Again, those poor kids. Hashtag those poor kids. So it, she's not a cleanly person at all, you know. Like I understand Christmas trees in January, but July, really? <laughs> uh, you know, on my channel, I try and empower hey, people that have got Thanks for coming. Gasoline. Don't fucking worry about it. If you do one thing a day. You're you're doing you're doing well. If you can get out of bed, shower, and look after yourself, hey, you're doing something good. And if you can do the dishes as well, you're doing something even better. You know, like I'm I'm someone that struggles daily with this stuff, and that's why I yeah. like for me, I stay up five, three, five, three to five days at a time because of. Uh, now, uh, Miss Moonbear, uh, I don't know much about this Beck person. Is she as bad? I mean, I'm guessing. I know she says something about the about some racist words later, but um, I've never watched this Beck person. Beck's, I don't know how you pronounce her name, just Beck or Becca. I never watched her before, so I don't really know her deal. But um, I can already tell that she has haters <laughs> like them too. But uh, yeah, uh, what, what's the name of her channel? Beck's channel? I've got here and I'm, so <laughs> I'm slept and I'm still here and I've got my makeup on and I look half reasonable. You know, like I just have 
I have no time for dumb fucks on the internet. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know? Shani, like, question, how, how do you handle, like, when you got the haters and stuff, how do you not take it personally? Because in bed, you two are very strong women. I was very weak skinned until now. No, until no, now. no, 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 no. So they're very I have not big always women. acted correctly. But I'm not to feel you are fucking strong. I wouldn't be able to do that. Boss bitch yeah, I, would very strong. Strong. I would have been able to do that. I, I <laughs> love you. Look at that. Uh, there's been times where I'm yelling and screaming at the top of my lungs to these people. You're not yeah, the only not. one. Yeah, no. it's just lungs up. everyone has their limit of their temper. And if yeah. so, you keep getting poked at, what do you expect? And the, what they don't understand, those of us who've gone through depression, those of us who have legit mental health issues mm. that shouldn't define us or shame us or anything like that, but what people don't understand on the outside. That's not an excuse, guys. I'm just saying that, you know, we all go through things fine. You know, if someone just lost a family member, someone just found out a cancer or a health diagnosis or even a hey, COVID, fine. But... If you're just a shit person and you blame your mental health over it, then you shouldn't be online. Or someone should tell you you shouldn't be online. Like, uh, seriously, stop using that as an excuse. I can't use my mental health as an excuse. If, if I do something shitty, I'm going to own up to it and be like, I'm sorry about that. But just don't use that as an excuse. Uh, I think that's disgusting. Looking in, how much energy it takes to wash our hair, put on makeup, to even have that idea of, do I even want to put makeup on? <laughs> I think I didn't put makeup on today, but I'm glad I did because now I'm here. <laughs> Renee, yeah, if you watch these people, you would like uh, cut through their logic like butter in two seconds. Like everything with them is bullshit. Hey, Jane, Janine. All the, right? And, and all of the little things like one day, okay, yes, I have fibromyalgia, but when I'm manic, I'm like fucking super Oh, God. Manic. Another fibro. Why, why is fibromyalgia like the big thing? Is it because it's hard to diagnose and prove? Yeah, I think so. You have fibro? Oh, look at her. I have fibro. You, you have fibro? I have fibro. Do you have kids? I have kids. Did you beat your boyfriend? Oh, wait. <laughs> I do. But and how you have the flares and it can go into remission or whatever that is. And then one day it hits you and you're off. You're oh. No, it's, it's, don't expect me to yeah, do Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll go into remission like you don't have it, you mean, right, Trish? And then when people mess with you, my fire my is just burning. I can't deal with this right now. Messed up. I know people who actually really have that for real. They don't act like these two. Anything today? I'm not moving. <laughs> oh, you're lazy. It's like, oh, yeah, really? that's what I feel. I feel very lazy when I can't do They're shit. Lazy. It's like literally, you just can't move. And yeah, then there are days when I'm super manic, and I'm and I'm not. It's and those are the days I don't take my Adderall. Like I know <laughs> with my doctor. Okay, this is the day I know I can. Yo, I knew she was on some sort of speedy something like Adderall or something. You know, someone said that in my chat. They were like, she's on Addies. Addies and alcohol. Oh my God, that sounds like a comic book. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that makes a lot of sense because she is so manic all the time. Who is this? Yeah. That's not I don't her. have fibroid. <laughs> I don't have fibroid, by the way. I have chronic back pain, but that's all I've got. And I still get it every day. I, w I worked for freaking for years and years with it. So, you know, like... That's no, funny shit. Is a thing. Like those of us who are older, you know, we got we got that. But but for other women to say, oh, you're, there's nothing wrong with you. There's this. It's there's like, nothing wrong with yeah, you. Okay. It's easier. I hate when people say that there's nothing wrong with someone with a mental illness. Yes, there is something definitely wrong with us. It's in our brain. You can't see it, but we see, we feel it every day. And I hate <laughs> when people say there's nothing wrong with us. I like this, like the imaginary. There's nothing wrong with us. We're totally fine. Like, give me give me a break, Beck. You're nuts. You're nuts. And it's just an excuse. Hey, Julie, what's up? You know, I, I woke up this morning and I just wanted to be this way today. But they can't understand the idea of something so, I, I mean, like either we're born with it or something so deep happened to us that our yeah. brain still can't wrap around it. Yeah. yeah. If someone has a concussion or shakes their brain, right? There's still that um, reverberative effect of it still shaking, right? The, uh, Jelly, what is it? Is that the racist? Uh, yeah, Janine. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's Beck. Definitely. Oh, she's from uh, she's from Australia. Yes, I would call her the Aussie racist. <laughs> when a trauma happens to you, it's still that rever reverberative, right, dude, brothers? Effect that's going on in your brain. Am I making sense? Like, no, you can have not. that like a physical concussion, but the mental traumatic concussion is is different. Answer your phone that. and how it manifests itself in our bodies and. Oh, we got a caller. Oh, hello, welcome to the line. Up, oh, they hang up. That's what they do. I, I've given my number out, right, to and I've doxed myself a thousand times, 
and these people are that they don't do nothing. Hey, security, what's up, dude? <laughs> that sounded like one of Beck's videos. <laughs> what the? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> you can say everything. <laughs> no. um, okay. Oh, and so another thing, this one keeps popping up here about how I never had cancer. So you mean to tell me I went to the doctor's office and he said, sure, I'll snatch out your uterus for the hell of it? Oh, what? Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna do, that for the do you have proof of this? I mean, people can say whatever they want. And I, it's before I believe anything, I just need a little bit, a little doctor's paper. You could scribble the name out. I mean, come on, a doctor ripped your uterus out. Now, Renee, since you're, since you're here, um, you tell me, like, is a doctor, as a woman, is a doctor just going to rip out your uterus? Or are they going to, you know, a woman might say, I'll get a second opinion on that. I, I, I'm just wondering. I'm psyched of it. <laughs> no, they changed the staging. So it's stage one now. What I had is stage zero. That's some shit. Mm. That is stage some zero shit. that I have is now staged to stage one. So I went they to the They do the same with me. Oh, they God. They do the same with Here me. I have osteoarthritis of my hips, uh, knees, and ankles. So I can't really walk very well. And the proof that she showed of that was a piece of paper, a drawing of a, just a diagram of a hip and where an osteo would happen. Not a actual x-ray, which she tried to uh, say it was. So again, this one also never shows proof or receipts of any of her bullcrap claims. Um, I also have borderline personality disorder. Hey, so Sims they know that I have both. Oh. Both. Um. Right. I'm also exhibiting symptoms of MS. The I, I obesity, right? Cancer, but I don't think I have that anymore. Or I did. I don't have that. Um, I got checked over, and the doctor's like, "No, you seem fine there." I'm just so I'm like, you good. Find a lump or yeah, two. I did find a lump. I found a lump. I found a lump. Dude, just feel this lump. Yeah. Dude, feel this and tell me that's not. But yeah, right, exactly, Renee. Like, like you know, in a scheduled procedure. They're just not. They need to make that as a procedure. They just can't do that at the, at the gynecologist office. That's a, like you said, a procedure that you need to go to a hospital for. Uh, what woman has went to the gynecologist office and the, and the doctor is like, get on the table. We're going to rip up that old uterus. You don't need it. Give me a break. She thinks we're all morons. I'll trade you. I'll, I'll feel your balls if you feel my boobs. Yeah, right? <laughs> so he, wasn't, he wasn't worried about it. Yes. So the breast cancer thing, so I don't think I'm, you know, but the MS oh, thing, I gotta get a spinal cap and a spinal MRI cap. I still have not one yet. Guys, because it's no. Does she mean the spinal tap? Shane can't words. <laughs> but, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, you know, the whole thing just threw me off her saying spinal cap. But, uh, all these things that they always say they need, but they never get, and they never show any proof of them going to the doctor. They'll show them at a hospital, but like, you never know what happens because they always are constantly lying. Please let us know how we can pray for you or think of you and. Yeah, you right. Know, that's not scary. Thank you. Um, you're yeah. alone. I'm praying for you. You know that. I always pray, so I'll pray for you as well. I um, I actually had a major breast cancer scare. It was yeah. a scare. It was still a scare, and I got a lump removed. A lump removed out of my breast because they, you know, did biopsy and said, "No, I'm gonna move the whole thing because it's small enough for them to do." And um, I freaked out. I ran out of the shower, butt naked, going, yeah. "Help me!" My partner was there, and he freaking felt. He goes, "No, go get it checked." And it was just a cyst, but it was still scary. Was because, with me. Yes. What the hell is this? Uh, a cyst? Is that what you call? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, 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 you're saying you have uh, breast cancer. Shani, is that what you call those dab marks on your on your boobs because you like to uh, do smoke uh, joints and uh, smoke dabs of uh, what uh, what was that called uh, the, the, that that oil with no shirt on and you had all these black marks all over your boobs because you were just like just doing it all over uh, on the bed. Yeah, those aren't cysts, Shani. Those are just you being lazy and not uh, having a shirt on, so you burned yourself. <laughs> They didn't tell me, even though I have implants, they didn't tell me I was going to oh, get one Obama, of those things. Obama, like, everything's right, full of lumps then, on um, her. The doctor's like, well, after you have your vac vaccination, everything's going to be weird. Yeah. I got sick right before that, and I don't want to talk You know, like, I, I always understand that, you know, when I watch females talking about this, it, you know, my opinions are always coming from a male perspective. That's why I love either my wife or other females in the, in the chat to say, that's incredibly offensive. 
that's not how this works. You know, guys wouldn't know, you know, unless you're going there with your significant other or your wife or girlfriend, but you wouldn't know the actual procedures. That's why I always ask, does this sound normal? But at the time, more than half the time, all the females in the audience would be like, no, this is incredibly offensive. She's lying. About it, but, I appreciate you know, it. <laughs> and everything just kind of changed before I got vaccinated. And like, I got sick before I got vaccinated. And then after the vaccination, and it was only like two days. Mm. I Don't like, bring Sammy up. Obama, please. She's, she's not here to defend herself. Mm. So no. And like, she's not like, Oh, about were you were you in that chat when she did this? Like I said, this this uh, video is obviously taken down because Trisha doesn't leave anything up. But I think she just said your name. <laughs> I mean, I was I was a mess, and it was on a weekend, and I didn't vlog, and I just stayed. Yeah, different states. It makes me always want to wash when I want look was, at them was, and clean my house. Horrible, but then my hair started getting all wonky. Everything. Then um, I got the vaccination, and then these like lumps appeared and i'm like it's on the right side i go to the doctor the doctor's like oh <laughs> yeah you were there <laughs> awesome dude i i, I like her you know horns in the check for the lurking <laughs> or for the trolling yeah yeah trish is just like yeah i just got these lumps and i got my covid shot and now i just been drinking milk every day non-stop milk right out of the right out of the curtain then the um what is it called myocarditis or whatever wow like the heart issues but i had like a really i had a heart well I have an issue that I'm dealing with because I cardiomyopathy. Yeah. No, after the um, after the C word and the vaccination, okay. your heart can also a myocardial infarction. Oh Someone my god, infarction! <laughs> a myocardial infarction. That's why it's so funny hearing Shani say these things because she's literally reading them off her phone, and because Shani only has uh, what is it, everybody middle school education, she doesn't read them that good. <laughs> yeah, um. The, okay. the something the infection, not infection oh okay um, inflammation of the oh. thing so that's a little scary to to deal with but i'm so yeah uh you know Janine, um uh, i'm i'm sorry for that you know every, or everybody who talks about uh, major surgeries they've had to had i you know i'm sure it's a scary moment so i'm i'm happy that you're still here but uh there you go, like, um, and I'm glad that you bring up, you know, from your grandmothers because, you know, what you're trying to say is it's a hereditary usually when it comes to something like that. But you notice that none of them say that. Well, my mother and my grandmother had it, so I knew I had to go get it checked because that would definitely make sense. They just say, oh, I have everything, so you should feel sorry for me and give me money. Sorry. No, it's, you know, <laughs> it's I don't scary. want to talk about that. I was, yeah, I was different very, um, That sounds like it. <laughs> I put myself in that position and then I push myself at the gym and then I go on the elliptical and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go on for an hour, but I'm not going to push myself. I put on my favorite music. And then after I'm like, <laughs> yeah, then she put all that on Instagram. These like sharp, sharp pain, <clears throat> with the, the weird ass palpitations. And then it's like, okay, this is how I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> but it, no, I, you know, I, you put yourself through that and I just, you know, I think that we all, I wonder how much Adderall she's on. Like, is she on like child's dose of Adderall, or they have her on some serious Adderall? I feel like someone like Trisha should not be on Adderall because all that manic stuff she did. You know that the, all the other videos I watched of her. Someone like that, I feel like she needs to be on something to calm her down, not to speed her up. But I don't know. That's my opinion. <laughs> you know, and, and how do we share and talk about it? But then you have like haters. Yeah. Or like. That didn't happen to you. Yep. You're like right there, and it's like, all right, I'm sharing this. I know. I, I don't know what is it. Right, Miss Moonbear. Behaviors we've got. Respect what is it? What my is it? trauma. What do we do? Uh, <laughs> Self-destructive. What is that? Where we wanna just we, we give fuck all to anything else after a while. Just like I don't give a fuck anymore. Uh, narcissism. Uh, you know, you're full of yourself. I don't know. You've always been like that. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I understand you. Shane's probably getting high right now. See, she's learned. So she doesn't want to, like, get high on the camera anymore. Yep. I'm okay. there. Go. What have I got to lose? Let yeah, exactly. This. Let me film this. Yeah, and if right, somebody Mubarak, gets something good that. out of it, like, oh, my God, that girl, TT, is a fucking weirdo. I don't want to be anything like her. Good, don't. This is what you don't do. <laughs> this is what you do. Don't get involved with some weird-ass man that wants your money. Oh. And he starts making you pay half for everything. Then you... Wow. Okay, so that's what you're that's what you're doing now. That's that's the hill you're gonna die on. Uh, so Sean, I'm guessing she's talking about so it's taking half of your money. Really? 
I love that. Then why did you want him back so bad? I thought he was a cheater. So he cheated on you, but he wanted half your money, but you wanted him so bad, right? You wanted, you didn't want him to leave. Well, why did you not want him to leave if he was stealing your money? Make that make sense to me, Trish. You got a problem. Really? <laughs> because he, he paid for everything for his wife. Why do you have to pay for half of everything? Because she took half of what he had? You're a sucker. I was a sucker. <laughs> I've done that for men before. Not oh, here we go. How fucked up is that? Like, you meet a man. He's like, but you have to pay for half for everything because my ex-wife to be took everything that I had because I paid for everything for her. Wait, wait. I deserve wait, wait. everything. If you can't give me everything, I don't want it. Yeah, Maybe that's what why I'm lie. so single right now. <laughs> I'm just glad that. Okay, so my partner was married before me, yeah. and um, lucky for him, him, he got with me. And I pushed the divorce because the lady wasn't going to, his ex-wife was not going to give the divorce to him until I pushed it. Took him. Yeah. Cost hey, no one matters for cats and hey, yoga pants. What's up, guys? Hey, yo, would you, would you, are you guys surprised that all three of these uh, women have been married and divorced multiple times? I'm not. <laughs> par for the course because they're just hard to deal with shani saying that she knows that is a complete bullshit let's see she had doug and doug didn't want to deal with her crap and she lost her kids and then chris came in to help her get her kids back but she was flirting with rev so that marriage uh left and now she's with rev and they spent all that money so when did shani paint when was she paying for another man oh yeah that's right never it's a couple grand, but we still got it done. That's how every situation is different. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'd never blame the other woman because a guy entertains it. It's not like she tripped and fell in his dick. No. Wow. Wow. Like, yeah, right? It, 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 Julie, uh, I agree. Sean was definitely providing. Whether wherever someone feels about uh, Sean for how he handled a fight or a situation, I know he was doing you know, his, his best to deal, to deal with uh, the situation and still to provide for his kid. So I agree with that statement. I'm so glad that I was, I met him like he was like two yeah. years single at that point. So, you know, like, and, yeah. And I do know that there are women who are domestic violators or domestic um, abusers and that. And mm. Get a cup, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big bottle of water. Right? <laughs> it's not normal. You don't get kidney infections. You gotta stay <laughs> hydrated. Kidney infections. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, I've known, I've known this since I stopped drinking like Coke and oh Coke. Oh my God, Stacy, the sparkling star. Yeah. Can we add her to our party? Yes. Oh. Yeah, go for it. Oh, Stacy. Right. Oh, another moron. I try to give this moron all Shani's information. I'm like, you don't want to mess with her. She lied to you. I had a whole. It's still on my channel. Uh, Shani lies for uh, Stacy and Sweet or Sassy, whatever the hell she's called, Sassy and Sweet. And I showed what she was saying versus reality with her house, oh, with the shit all over the place, the blood on the walls. But I guess she didn't want to listen to me. Uh, how are you? Hey, Trisha. I'm sorry. Oh, that what she is, Sam Sam? They are jealous as f. You are. I have three pretty ladies on my chat tonight. I just chat. My dress, so I could like. <laughs> I just changed my wow. dress and put a bra on. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, Shane knows not all about not wearing bras. Hell, she doesn't even wear underwear, especially when she gets arrested for beating the shit out of Rev. I'm not wearing a, a bra. I've got a fluffy bra. titties tonight. It's only four o'clock in the afternoon here in Australia, so I better fucking wear a bra. These women who just don't like to wear bras, man. You know, no wonder why the, you know gravity's gonna win all, all in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crying over any kangaroos anytime soon. She drinks like a lizard. Yeah, right. <laughs> Free the titties. Oh yeah, I'm not wearing a bra either. I, I just took my makeup off and put my pajamas on because I was crying earlier. I'm like, I'm, I didn't want to have like makeup, you know. Oh, is is that what she's doing, uh, Miss Moonbear? She's trying. To, yeah, she's she's doing the. Uh, I'm better looking because I surround myself with ugly women. No, that, that high school trick. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She seems like the type. Well, so I just took what it are you off. for? Oh, I just I just miss my brother. He's he's um he has special needs and he's gone for a few months. I've never been apart from him for like more than a week. So I'm just sad. Um, yeah. We're here for you. It happens. You <laughs> right, right, Kitty. Yeah. Oh, you always cheer me up, Trisha. Oh, hi, okay. Shani. Hi, Beck. Hi, hi Stacey. How are you? Oh, this is really awesome. awesome. Now, you're Sin. in Canada, right? 
Yep. And you're in Australia. I appreciate it, Sin. Thank you. Australia. And Shani, where are you in the world? I'm in PA, Pennsylvania right now. Oh, wow. We should yeah. not come down to North Carolina then, girl. I girl. definitely. How was she? In, in that stolen truck that they still have? The, the Durango? <laughs> they want to come down to North They got Carolina. no money. I want to go back home. I miss it. You know, I saw you pull out that Duke's mayonnaise, and I was like, she knows. She knows. <laughs> like, I, I could go hmm. downstairs right now and pull out my Duke's mayonnaise. See, you're never going to go back to any mayonnaise until you try Duke's. But I love You know what? I, I, bet, I bet you had that Duke's mayonnaise in, in the room you're in. Because when you were in Colorado, you guys had all all the food spices in your friggin' bathroom. Remember, Shani? And Red was cooking, uh, well, he was cooking stir fry on the bed. Like, that's normal. We're just done with every other mayonnaise. Nothing better Don't than that. <laughs> They're glop, glop, glop. <laughs> oh my god, this is like oh, look a that face. version of Sex in the City. I'll oh my be, god. I'll be Terry. I'll be Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda. Of course she would. And Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. I think that's my favorite number. It's also my, my favorite position, so eat that, Dana. <laughs> she never made the team, Jude, but that didn't stop her from banging the, the whole football team. <laughs> People in the chat are so triggered, Trisha. Oh, like, oh, this is bizarre. I'm, not <laughs> I'm, I'm so full of haters, right? You know, maybe they're not just triggered. Maybe they're like, yo, you guys, you know... Trisha doesn't know what she's doing. She's surrounding surrounding herself with like the bottom barrel of the internet. You know, Shani's uh, was terminated. Uh, she's a racist. Uh, Stacy and Sweet, whatever. She's done some really bad, questionable things. So yeah, they're probably just saying, uh, Trisha, this is gonna backfire, and it did. Because without her doing this video, I wouldn't have found her dumbass. So, you know what? Kudos to that. <laughs> we all are. It's not just you, Trisha. I tell you, everything yeah, they're all I learned about sex, I watched it from Sex in the City. And it's accurate. Oh, really? It is really accurate. Ew. Like, yeah. so many things. And I have the collection, and they're coming out with a new series. You hear that, Renee? Uh, she learned how to have sex from Sex in the City. Stories of it, but... Isn't it a new movie that's coming out? There's a new movie coming out as well for the Sex and City as well. Really? really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, like older. And B Mr. Big, there's some, you know, Mr. Big and all that, you know. I love Sex and City. You know, it's interesting. You know, they want to say, like, he's, well, whatever, like the whole Me Too movement thing. But my thought is, who hasn't been? Like, how many women have gone through so much stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it, it's like, we were in such a culture, you know, you want to talk about consent and things like that. Mm. It's, you know, I mean, what happened to... Oh, no, because, you know, like, I don't know. Because why is she saying that she learned sex from Sex in the City? I just felt like that's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, you know, but I know that's a female favorite, uh, Sex in the City. I really couldn't get into it. But that's because I think Sarah Jessica Parker is kind of like a horse face. But, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> just being liberated without offending other people. <laughs> that the whole feminist view. Oh, that was good, Sims. At least you got some, just enjoying something out of high yourself. school and other people and being free about it and talking about it. Yeah. So we need that back. Oh yeah, Janine, that, that, or uh, Janine, that, that was you when she said this one, this one. <laughs> well, that, uh, that's good to know who she was referencing. Not, you know, he looked at me the wrong way and that was great. It was like, no, that wasn't it. I've been there, done that, you know, it's, you know. But, ah, please like, Lee, don't get up. So then we have to deal with these haters who are so, um, invested Funny. and so diabolical and so freaking weird. Yeah, they go in Discord service, Discord, Services. and they make all these plans of how to agitate us. That's not true. You, uh, proof receipts of these claims because no one does that. We go into Discord and talk to each other, uh, but no one actually said, Here, this is how we're gonna go after Shani. That, that's just. It's not true. I've been in these discords, and that's not what happens. Not at all. They'll be like, look at this little cow, and that's about it. They're not like, all right, remember the plan. Everyone go mess with Shane today. Like, it's a complete lie. There's no proof of any of this shit anywhere. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, right, Shane. Awesome. Awesome. Like, oh, they freaking make, they make up freaking stories. Like, let's do this, let's do this, let's troll this person. Let's just make up freaking, I've, my entire family got docs all over the internet. Of photos and then you know they even did my my dead nana's freaking photo and had the name um message on the grave on it and I'm yeah. like, what did these people do to you that they've done nothing to you but they got you coming after them anyway? Go after me. 
on the I want I mean, I don't know about this. Again, like, they never show any receipts. I want to know what she did to really piss off someone to do that. The one that's on the internet. Well, these people don't have anything to do with the internet. So fucking leave my family alone. You know, you're like, that's why I don't get it. I just don't fucking get it. If they don't have anything they, yeah. to do, right? Susie? No. They go after, like, they went after my family, too. So it's like, mm -hmm. I don't know. They, they do that stuff. They go, they don't have a stop button. They don't have boundaries. They break the boundaries and they have no stop button. Like there's no gas, there's no stop hmm. pedal on the gas. You know? Shani paid this guy Negs uh, a couple hundred more, like uh, close to a thousand dollars to go after uh, me, the Geek Room, um, so many other people to find out where we lived and uh, our family members' names and all this other stuff, and it, it didn't work, obviously, but uh. She is not no uh, saint here. She has paid people many times. She's paid tragic. She's paid neg. She's paid all these weirdos on the internet to go after and find people's docs. G man, she gave G man money to do the same thing. If you guys don't know G man, he's another. He's another one, <laughs> another crazy law cow. So yeah, she's not so innocent. I don't know about. Uh, I've heard Trisha has tried to find people's docs as well. So I wouldn't put it past these other two. Like they just go. They're just evil, most of them, you know? Yeah. Carlo says, Trisha, all your lives are about haters. Here you are with three other great women, and that's all you're talking about. Why not talk about anything else, please? <laughs> well, before we can talk about other things, we're kind of just sharing this moment because we're all, um, what's it called? Uh, Bulk house. Isolated, not isolated, when they try to isolate you. Yes, when they try to isolate you. That's what they try to do with me. They try oh, to yeah. yep. I know that with Stacey. I've watched Stacey go through it. Um, I was no. trying to go through it as well. I don't think they're trying. Anyone's trying to isolate more than just say, "Hey, here's a or here's a warning." I've been warned about certain people. Like if I, you know, like you can talk to whoever you want, but I wouldn't share anything personal with them because they weaponize information, or they have a lot of haters that, if you know, guilt by association, association, unfortunately, or just you know, keep your distance with them that's not you know isolation that's just like a warning for your own sake but you know you guys could take it any way you how yeah any way you want and i was watching her and i i just don't get it to tell you on the streets what what is so bad oh uh sims fan uh you know that could be something uh potentially in the future i'm open to anything if uh if people are going to want to watch it <laughs> with us four women who what all we want to do right now. all we want to do is have yeah, right, a right. group of people we can come together and be friends and actually have decent conversations not it's, I, um, I, you're a dumb da -da -da -da, swear whatever whatever and screaming at a camera you know you're like yeah. I did that for fucking five years I don't want to do that for another five years I've only got you know 60 years to live come on I want another you know I want to fucking live good you know so I'll say that 60 years <laughs> I've got no. 60 years I think they try to isolate us to a degree because, like, this is the first time the four of us have come together. The, we could be the new Fab Four. Ooh! Oh, no, yeah. We could be the new Fab Four something. Yeah. The new Fab Four. They made one stream, folks. One. And Trisha uh, privated this right away. And then uh, I think that was it. So she hasn't talked to Shani since. She privated her own channel. So, yeah, I don't think the whole Fab Four thing is going to happen. I mean, I'm just. I'm just guessing. That would be fun. So, yeah, it would be. Having good panels is what really, you know, in conversations, can actually make, you know, make sense to all of us, hey, you know? Up, son, like, yeah, up. our brains aren't wired the same as a person that doesn't have mental illnesses or fibro or anything that's wrong with us. So we've, we've, we've got to come together as a, as, a, as a team, as a group, to be able to have something decent to talk about that we understand, like our mental health or our weight or whatever, you know? Like, yeah. Aww, I'm so happy, like... <laughs> Exactly. This just this is really awesome. Obama it's true. She needs it. Wolf in pig's clothing. <laughs> or pigs in wolf's clothing. And she was drunk up. Maybe all the haters looked at interesting topics. Like, Either or well, give us a chance. This is our first time organically coming together. And if you're asking us, maybe if we could create a conducive environment, this would feel safe for us to want to do something like this. Mm. We're not here mm. for your entertainment. I find when I do panels, I get the most views on panels. Really? Yeah. yeah. How long have you been on Oh, yeah. 
How long did you vlogging for, Stacy? Because uh, remember, you oh, she did uh, this girl's journey. Um, I haven't watched the Trisha Renee channel, and like I said, I've had I have a couple streams copied or videos from that because she does the same thing. She keeps on privating the videos. And I was going to talk about those, like, you know, that she says she's COVID positive, but there's still no proof that she took a test. Um, but yeah, I did see something with her saying that she quit YouTube and she wanted to know why everyone's talking about her. This is from years ago, but she can't stop talking about it either. So, <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks for letting me know. Is this the Unholy 4? Yes, it is. This okay. is this is the, the, the recently deleted stream where Trisha had them all on and said that they were going to be the Fab 4 and then deleted it right after because she got a lot of hate remember Me? yeah you long long time ago yeah you <laughs> yeah you and then we we i was not the nicest person either and then somehow we turned it around and then it was like hey why don't we hate on each other and then we became yeah they're all gonna start a weight loss channel together friends and then ever since then <laughs> You were in the car. You were in your apartment. And you watched me. No. Uh, I don't know why she's going. Uh, why she's going on, uh, Trisha Renee? Yeah, her name is not Renee at all. So I don't know where the Renee comes from. If you guys can let me know, I have no idea. I I know <laughs> no <only> for. <laughs> uh, oh hey Nacho, what's up? Uh, but yeah, you guys let me know. I don't know where to, why she called herself Trisha Renee. Uh. So that's an interesting thing. I have no idea. I had thoughts, but I wasn't exhibiting good behavior then, though. So yeah, you're, you're right, though. I, I, I forgot about that. I was judging you. I didn't really know you at the time. Oh, no problem. I, I apologize. I didn't know you at all. So, um, actually, Trisha, you're the reason why I'm here on the internet doing live streams, because I watched the Dr. Phil episode, and I went, oh, you can live stream on YouTube. You can live stream on YouTube, and I went over straight away. <laughs> Yeah. And I, ever since then, I, I don't regret any of it. Like, yeah, there's some things I regret doing, but there's so many things that, that I I met so many good people on here that I can't regret at all because... You Man, I really need to check out this person's channel and see all the crazy low-cow stuff that she has. <laughs> she seems like a trip. You did, great, you did a good thing by being on Dr. Phil for me because all I ever did was watch YouTube and I watched Dr. Phil like mad and I remembered watching it. And I was like, huh? You can live stream on YouTube? And I just went over. Oh, she did, Sims fan. That, that's great. <laughs> she was psychoanalyzing her. You know, crazy person calling somebody else crazy. Because I went, oh, guess I who wants to join the party? Linda, hey. but she's not connected. She keeps popping in and out. Linda wants to join our party. Oh, Linda, uh, come on now. Linda. She wants to join our party. <laughs> No, but I, I, I would love to collaborate with you guys if you're on a regular. Right. Like, I would love this if we could come up with topics and things to talk about. That would yeah. be fun. I'd like yeah. that. Yeah, because I've, I've missed having decent conversations with decent people. Like, yeah, Sammy, I talk to Sammy every day. We talk and do 15-hour live streams. Huh. None of these people are decent on this on this panel. None of them. They all have done disgusting things. They've all been... Uh, shown to be the worst of the internet the worst the internet has to offer none of these people i can ever consider decent you know <laughs> like <laughs> we, we stream 12 hours and then we'll stop for 12 hours and then we'll stop and then we'll yeah. start it again do another 12 hours because youtube cuts it off after 12 hours like, you know, well, when i first started i think it only go to eight now yeah, it goes to now 12. Goes to 12. yeah now it goes to 12. so yeah yeah ask shani how many hours didn't she she was filming 12 hour streams when she was going from Colorado to PA while she was uh while she was having rev abuse or her autistic son. You go to 12 and then it cuts off. Um, you, yeah, right. <laughs> you can still stream after 12 hours but it's just not recorded on YouTube. So yeah. Oh, wow. We could all do um we could all do makeup together. Like yeah, Oh have, great. You want to see their makeup? makeup? <laughs> we all have like a goal like goth makeup today or like yeah, pretty we'll good goth. A little bit out there. Goth makeup? Yeah, who wants to watch Shani put on goth makeup? Because I don't do my this nightmare. now. Much out no way. <laughs> Wait, let me see your eyes some more. Let me see them some more. Oh, those are Ooh. pretty. That's taking me a long That I don't like that. Like, I'm not being mean. Like, if I thought it was cool, I would say something. Or, I mean, I don't even like her painted eyebrows. But yeah, her eyes look, I don't know. It's demonic oh, makeup God, pigs. Give me one second. My partner's just gotten home from work. 
okay. <laughs> but again, it's so weird. She goes, but is this her? Like with the blonde wig on? Like they don't look the same. I'm really confused. No, Shani, we got a lot in common too. This is really great. Like that's what they try to do. They try to isolate us and spin us up so we don't progress. Yeah, you said that already. Next level. It's all about. Yeah, and they try to get us against each other too sometimes. Yeah. Now, you know, yeah, we, we, we make sure that they can't advance to a Super Saiyan 2 or 3, you know? They can't progress to the next locale. <laughs> I do hear what so and so said about you. Da, 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 da. Like, yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go for that stuff anymore on my channel. When I have people do that to me on my channel, I automatically block them because it's like, you're just yeah. trying to start trouble and I'm not dealing with that crap anymore. Oh my God. You know what? If I said something that was really messed up and like, like I'll be honest, if I said something that more than half my audience thought was really bad, I would address it because I, I would know, all right, I messed up and deal with it from from there. I wouldn't just ignore it because people will not ignore it, you know? And if you try to keep going, then they'll tell the other people that are coming like, hey, do you know this person did this? They, there, was, there was a bad take on that. It's just normal for someone to say, you know, if you're a commentary channel, they say that was a bad take. If you just ignore it and pretend it didn't happen, that's really going to piss people off. Why don't they understand that? They are commentary. If they don't want to call themselves vloggers or whatever, then it's they're at least a commentary channel. And they will be called out if they say disgusting things or racist takes or anything else disgusting. Like, I don't understand why they don't understand personal accountability. And they've all been guilty of that. Her voice. Like the stream. Thank you. Aww. Isn't she like a narrator voice? Like you got that really nice. Like, <laughs> what? Okay. She has a narrator voice? Are you kidding me? Wow, Trisha, why are you kissing her fat ass? So the story of my yeah. life, I'd like Shani to, oh, hey, I'd like Shani to narrate that for me. She's a very lonely woman who just wanted the eggplants. <laughs> what? Shani's like, she don't get the joke. You see, look at her dumb face. She don't get it. Shani doesn't understand humor because she doesn't know if jokes are against her or they go over her head so she'll just make like this stupid she needs to fart joke or she needs to fart face oh my god hey sticky oh my gosh. <laughs> right? thing. youtube saved me think about it youtube <laughs> saved me i'd have been in the back of the georgia somewhere probably pushing daisies or my uh, three outfit choices prison stripes a paper gown or whatever a body bag well at least people wouldn't know every aspect of your life if you weren't on youtube i, I seriously feel like that some people just can't handle this whether she was doing that to get more views or clout or you know likes subs she pushed it too far to the point where even dr phil you know which he ain't so great had to tell her, no, this is a an addiction for you that you need to calm down. You're ruining your marriage. But, you know, she gets to believe whatever she wants. Right. You've been to jail before, Trish? Uh, here we go. Hours. Same, babe. Same. Yeah, and what did you go for jail for? And and you went to jail two two times, Shani, for beating up Rev and for going after your ex-husband's uh, brother with an axe. Right? Were you going to say that? Or you're just going to make shame? I was on uh, 5150. I, I've been to jail twice, actually. Oh, there you go. There's some truth. <laughs> right? That, that is a weird flex. I've never been to jail, but I, I, do, I, do, have, I do have a criminal record. So. Oh, my God. I'm the only one that hasn't been to jail, and I don't have a criminal record. Well, the first hmm. time was I was trying to get my drug dealer ex-brother-in-law uh, out of my... What? What? Wow. My drug dealer ex-brother-in-law out of the house. You are a liar, Shannon Dorn. Yeah, and why is that? Well, you're married, but you have your ex-husband's name still? But you're married. Yeah, make that make sense, people. No, Shani was talking to Rev all the time when her ex-husband Chris was at work. Uh, the Chris's brother would tell him every time. Shani got sick of it and ran after him and attacked him and then uh, then started to chase him outside after she kicked him out of the house she chased, chased him outside with with a hatchet you know a small axe and then she blamed it on the dog my house the so took him and chucked him out of my house and he called the police on me damn and That's the second lie. time oh, we were in the oh my god parallel i'm not <laughs> 
I've never been to jail, but I, I, did, I did have I do have a criminal record. So, oh my god! I'm the only one that hasn't been to jail and I don't have a criminal record. Well, the first time was I was trying to get my drug dealer ex-brother-in-law uh, out of my house, so I took him and chucked him out of my house and he called the police on me. That's not how it happened. And the second time, we were in Boulder, Colorado, and I got arrested because I admitted I used a sex toy whip on my husband. There's pictures of Rev's arms and face. She beat the shit out of him with more than just that whip. And it was not consensual. And Rev, oh my God. Oh, 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 guys, hold on. I got proof of this. I got proof of this. Spit on me, too. Yeah. You After you fucked me yesterday. Ugh. Is this the one? Yeah. I wish I could rip my fucking thing off after being in you. It's sterile and being in you. Wow. Who the wanna fuck me? Wow. It's true. Yeah, I didn't want to. Yeah, <laughs> there's irate Alex. But yeah, I have one of these where she he says you beat the shit out of me. Let me see if I can and find it. They arrested it. me for domestic assault and, and put it. Restraining order on my husband, so we couldn't see each other for, for like three months before did, did, did the DA finally hurt? dropped things. Did he like go to the hospital and like you know? Did they say what happened to you? Like, did you whip him hard or something? And no, he, he just had a little red mark on his thigh. What? Wow, what a lie! Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to find that to show my proof later. But wow, no, he had marks on his arms, on his face. She whipped him, and she hit him with, with, her, with her fist, and her two children were in the apartment while, they were going, while this was happening. And they also drove home drunk. And she was just as drunk as Rev was, if not more. Who showed it? Like, how do you show it? Yeah. You I called up for medical help for my husband, and for some reason, the 911 operator took it as some kind of domestic thing. To give him a hey, she called. No, she called because she wanted Rev to go to jail because she thought that the police would listen to her. And she was so surprised when they didn't. What, what a lie. A heart attack? <laughs> so they saw this little whip. I mean, he drank oh and he God. got a little, a little uh, nuts, if you know what I mean. No. Rev wanted to go get a Baja Blast to de-escalate the situation. Shani would not let him go get the Baja Blast, so she started beating him. And then she called the police, thinking that they were going to take him to, you know, to teach Rev a lesson. Don't, don't uh, question Shani. And they took her instead, because to Rev, Rev is a small guy, and Shani's like a linebacker. So I wanted, I, I wanted him to get some exactly mental sticky. Help, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. I don't. But no, instead they throw me in jail for using a sex whip on him. Oh my god! Wow. Well, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. This is this is a good question. If you guys just got home from watching Detective Pikachu and you were both were drinking, why'd you take out a sex whip if you guys weren't having sex? You took it out to, and you beat him with it, and then when the cops showed up, the marks were still fresh, red. So, it's not like you were having sex and, you know, then they showed up. There was no sex involved. You just grabbed that whip off the wall, beat him with it, and put it back on the wall. Again, folks, why her kids were in the house they could hear this whole thing disgusting she's disgusting i like so you didn't I like about saying that to the police they may arrest you for that yeah. Crazy. you never told me that story shani what's the statute yeah. of limitations because i i um i don't want it i i i, I uh yeah i don't know i don't know <laughs> i guess if they do, I, I guess deny it <laughs> deny. but it was it was you know Horrible. it was consensual though <laughs> I told, the, I told the police it was consensual. He told the police it was consensual. No, nah, man, he's in a problem. Yeah. Like, we just got a little too drunk. Jesus. Uh, oh, so is that what happened? Wow, what a lie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My gosh. That's what I get oh, for calling for help. You have to say what the most amazing thing of the experience <laughs> What a lie. But I got to meet a lot of amazing women who had stories. Uh -huh. and it's not just... It's not just orange jumpsuits. There are real women that have gone through some real traumatic things, and I'm I'm grateful for the experience because it really taught me like taught me a lot about like self control and things like that. So taught yeah. me that too. No more sex whips for you. You know when yeah. you were saying eggplant, Trisha, eggplant yes. reminded me of uh, Pasha Naughty. Absolutely. <laughs> are you really gonna have your cooter? Cast it and, and sell it on your Posh and Naughty. Yeah. Not on the Posh. What? Let me page my book. <laughs>
Yeah, how can she do that? Because if everyone knows, she what what Trisha does, she drops ships. She doesn't have a like a legit website where all, where she has these products at home. No, she basically people buy the product. She buys it from China, sends them over to them. Takes probably like three months, and then she upcharges. A three D version of my. Oh well, uh, that uh, this girl's journey. I don't know about when she went to jail. Um, was that when uh when the divorce happened? They that they arrested her because I know she was acting really crazy that night. Well, my hater. She did you hear the explicit detail? She was talking about my pictures. My oh yeah, dude. I hope they also see that like they're laughing about it. If this was so, you know, crazy for Shani, why are they laughing about it? It's because no, she she beat the shit out of him, and we all saw the proof. But uh, I'm still looking. I have it somewhere. <laughs> Haters are drooling. She was talking about my vagina on the internet. It was like, oh. oh. But then I said, why don't I do it in a 3D mold? I need to have your own version of it. Yeah. Did she my buy it too? I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, I buy it too. Uh, <laughs> <Ew. laughs> uh, overpriced Nasty. sex toys only because TT touched them. They're really not overpriced. They're all That's like actually a good idea for female YouTubers is casting their cooter and like selling it. Yeah. <laughs> It yeah. is though. I bet you. I wonder if it would sell though. You know, like you can go to like all those conventions. And stuff. It's got to sell. It's got to. It's art. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so many women are like, you shouldn't talk about it. You shouldn't. Whatever. And that's the problem. When you don't talk about it, <laughs> that's where the barrier is. Like we have to talk about it. We have to be open. We have to speak our truth. Otherwise, what truth? You know, haven't been taken from us. Fuck that shit. I'm taking it back. They haven't spoke a whole truth. This whole this whole whatever uh, hour they've been talking. Not one ounce of truth. It's all been bullshit and projections and uh, nothing, like no receipts, no proof to any of these claims. They've just been just spouting out bullshit. And I love that. She's like, oh, well, we're going to get to talking about whatever, but we're just going to talk about our haters because that's all these people have. Take yep. it back, baby. Oh, for stalking? Amen. I believe so it. Do you like tacos or you funny. like eggplants or you like eggplant tacos? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I like both eggplants and tacos. Yeah, I oh, bet yeah. you do. Why? Yes, well, I would make fun of tacos as well. So the funny thing is like when people say to you, do you like men or do you like women? And it sucks when you like everybody. So, oh, you're flirting with him? No, I'll flirt with her too. Why do you Why do you think I just go after the husband? I'll date the wife too. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, not the one, I'm normally the one pointing out the women to my partner. So, you know, like, you know, at the end of it all, you know, like, who cares if he talks? I don't know. That's one thing. <laughs> oh. It's so it's just something that a lot of women don't talk about and it's like, okay, why do our partners cheat on us? Because they're afraid to talk to us or we're fucking neurotic and whatever. Maybe yeah. I was fucking neurotic. Yeah. Help. In my first and last marriage, I was happy she did what I didn't want to do. And uh, what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> whatever that means. Yeah, I mean, gross what and, now, and these women can't the haters in the chat, they're like, nah, Trisha, you're not bi. What do you mean I'm not bi? How can you tell me? <laughs> yeah, no, well, why, why are, are these haters saying what, sec, what sexuality you are? Like, who cares if you're bisexual, you're lesbian, you're gay, yeah. whatever, like you're pan, whatever, who cares? You know? I, I, love, oh. love, I love people who love people, and as long as, let me tell you. Yeah, we, yeah, we knew someone sticky who did that. I don't know if they got the mold kit or made it themselves, but she was a, she was a, she was an airhead to see the least. <laughs> oh my god he didn't shower he didn't shave okay i love anybody who can shower and shave and don't look like the scrotums that right yeah. Uh, yeah. Her. Yeah. Uh, from it. someone who doesn't even shower you, sh you can't eat shanny deliver anyway it don't matter she he whatever you know <laughs> so the haters are saying apparently that i'm the only one that will buy your overpriced uh sex toys that you touch uh -uh. <laughs> overpriced <laughs> that's great uh, when these two other girls already said they would so when my sex toy sex toys dies, I'm going over to Potter Naughty, so you know what? Like, yeah, I bet they do. Uh, <laughs> is by then straight. It's a repetitive circle. It's actually quite insulting to the LGBTQ community. Oh what? I don't even belong there either. You don't belong anywhere. Do anywhere. There's no rule there's no rules. It's her life. Well, hey, okay. I'm not like so and so that goes after playgrounds, so leave me the hell alone. Well, I, I mean, all the women I've had sex with, I think they would disagree on that position. That I'm not bi. Right? I mean, come on. 
Exactly. That's what she said. Let's see. Oh, All right. Uh, I just want to show this here. Really quick. This is when Shani got arrested. I just want to show real quick. They were first talking to her boyfriend, Rev. Outside. Their house looks like crap. This is July. Clothes all over the table. Look how big this woman is. I mean, I'm just saying. Compared to her boyfriend out in the hallway. That's... That's Rev. That's the victim. And you see this mark right here? It's red. You see this mark on his face right there? It's red. And there's scratches on his arms. She says she didn't know that she couldn't... She was defending herself. So... Yeah, so she's a liar. I hate when people just lie and make up shit. And then she couldn't get into the ambulance because, you know, heavy. And, um... I have nothing. I have. I don't even have underwear on. Ew. Then put some underwear on before you leave the house. So yeah, they arrested her, obviously, because, shocking, she beat the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, I did a whole video on that, but you know, just, just, to, just, to, just to prove that she is a liar, and it was more than one red mark, it was a lot of red marks. Oh, hey, 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 of women are fighting oh yeah, that would be great inner, if they tased whatever, her. Because I have a stalker that's obviously obsessed with me even sexually if she's commenting on my parts mm -hmm. i think that a lot of people are in denial of really their real sexuality and things like that toby said she beat her husband i've seen the body cam footage and you know what boom and i just showed the body cam footage bitch what are you gonna say what are you gonna say stupid ass what are you gonna say you know really we need to get on a panel with her and just <laughs> go off i'm like trisha you're you're an idiot you know, body cam footage, police footage, that's not some hater or a YouTube channel. That is an official police unbiased video. How can you say? And she's still talking about New World Order. Yeah, when she got arrested, Shani said, what, what did she say? Time for the reprogramming. She said it was MK Ultra. She couldn't even come to terms that she beat him up. She said that they were taking her for MK Ultra. You know that, Trisha? Moron? <laughs> what if she did? What if she did? Oh yeah, right, Nick. Nick, that would have been yeah. That's that part must have stunk. What if she did? Well, she's a horrible person. And what that if wasn't she on the body cam footage at all, idiot? What? 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 Are you kidding? Are you kidding? This is ridiculous. I get put in jail and he hits me. What else I gotta say? I get put in jail and. He Hey, hold on. Listen to this part. Bye, Jason. This is called MK Ultra, by the way. <laughs> I love that. This is MK Ultra. Uh, time for reprogramming. Time for reprogramming. But you know, Trisha don't care about facts. <laughs> Oh they're trying God. to make Obi. they're trying to make me self-conscious. They're like, Stacy, don't move your eyes. This one right, better pray the Lord. This one keeps popping up, but but sending me all these messages. I think it's um bird fucker. Bird fucker? <laughs> she I think she probably grapples with Ozzy Osbourne and the pigeon, but she's afraid to go too far. Ozzy Osbourne. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> He bit the yeah. He bit the head off of it. <laughs> I, I, my sense of humor is terrible. I was about to say she she probably is afraid she'll go too far with it. Shane doesn't teach get Stacey it. Stacy, how to twerk, girl. Stacy's eyes are twerking. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I said I want to learn how to twerk good by the summertime. So I yeah. did twerk, and I'm just I'm a, I'm a very beginner. You, yeah, you Ew. just like Please okay. Don't. You gotta like you gotta learn how to arch your back. Shane, mm -hmm. stop. From your butt, you know? And, and you do that even more, and, and you'll be able to have that moment, you know? And then there's, like, that gym. Look, she's moving, but remember, she's got fibromyalgia, osteoarthritis, uh, obesity, uh, I don't know, other things, testicular cancer, but uh, she can move and show Stacy how to twerk. 
Okay. <laughs> twerk. Like that the stream, folks. Thighs. I could teach you how to twerk too. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not <laughs> I'm good. Even, even her, she's like, yeah, no, I don't want to see that. I'm actually pretty good at twerking, Trisha. You're I saw a lot of women who, you know, I'm in no competition with anybody. <laughs> you can you can hang off a pole and, and swing around like you're the American flag during a hurricane. I don't give a fuck. So <laughs> it's like, I'm not talented in that department. I'm okay. So does Trisha just leave bottles? I guess that's not milk. I guess those are water. Just bottles of water because she thinks that she's going to have kidney failure or something. This is really fascinating to me. I didn't know people that would just drink two liters out of the carton of water and just, you know, like, that's cool. Like, you know, who needs a cup? <laughs> no, you do look really good twerking, though. I'm okay. I kind of gave that up for a little while. I miss those videos. I'm like, oh, what is she going to wear? this time or is that band on instagram Ugh. i well sort of so then i just said Fuck. yeah i would regret that too sticky instagram and i deleted it and then i was like oh shit but then i realized there was a lot of pictures of me and my ex-boyfriend so i was like just his hand or his foot yeah yeah really what the fuck shandy and stacy show us your dance moves no not right now we should have like a girls' night. Yeah, I'm surprised that Shani hasn't rolled over on on Jason and cut off his oxygen. I was like, like, oh, get up. My twerk in. I can't do that on YouTube. No. You can't. I'm not allowed to do anything on YouTube anymore. You should be able to do that. Period, because you're so sick and in pain, right? You need you need you need G man to get you your pain meds. <laughs> you get freaking done for anything. Why? Um, you can can't do, do it on Twitter. <laughs> can't do much on TikTok. You get banned easily. So I got a job. I, I worked at a strip club for three days until Paul found me, and then that didn't work out. Oh. I learned that's well, like it was over a year ago, and I have the video footage to prove it that I tried. Who's Paul? I, I'm really. I, I don't even know who the Paul person is. Wow! Can you imagine someone walked in like, ah, what are you doing, mom? Get down! What are you doing? to learn how to twerk before I found out some jerk left me for someone who could twerk. Oh, that didn't sound right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I learned how to twerk before I knew anybody else could. Or what was, I was, um, by my affection. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Trisha, Trisha, you're like me. You'll try anything once. <laughs> uh, uh. I have. That don't sound I good. It, and I tried it twice. <laughs> Yeah, if you like it, try it twice or three times or whatever. Yeah, I always try one. Yes, why not? Right for the most part. Oh, we have big wolves around our husbands. That'll be. Oh, oh, Paula walked in on on Trisha. Really, in a strip club? Oh shit! <laughs> I know that they have some sort of in uh you know. Uh, well, no, I guess her and uh, Seabreeze had a, a weird relationship. I know Paula can't stand her, but uh, interesting nonetheless. I'm still trying to learn about why Paula and uh, Seabreeze don't like each other. I'm still figuring that out. Not walked in? Oh, okay. I think she's interested. Ah, yeah, I'm going to rock his dick at night. Actually. Yeah, yeah, she's done everything, Kitty. She's, she, she was twerking before there was a name. I just think a lot of that. Shut the fuck up, dumb bitch. <laughs> Jeremy's the uh, bird, right? Sorry, I'm an Aussie, and I will say every word as a swear word to get trolls to fucking leave me alone. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm a cuntologist. Fuck off. No, actually. Alaska says classy conversations. Oh, yes. Yes, we're so classy. Would you like us to have yeah, a compared to you fucking cunt? I can get my... Uh, no, but how about you get, bring something interesting to the table instead of just talking about your haters and everything? People are like, here, actually talk about something interesting. Can you imagine if Trisha was like, you know, I could play piano and guitar and I could sing and um, I know uh, five languages. And if Shani was like, I could do this and that and the other thing. But no, it's all the same old bullshit. Okay. Sandal phone. <laughs> would you like, would you like that sounds like thing? fun. Let's have some tea. Yeah. <laughs> so then, uh, Jude, what's up with uh, the sea breeze person? Because I did see Jeremy's mom write down, like, there was a couple people that she was like, these aren't good people. I, I guess they're all in league with Trisha. That's the kind of the vibe I got. We're not doing conflicts with that. You got some cheese with that wine? No, we're not allowed to be women who are like... Oh, we the go. square table in the middle. Square table and we got our tea table. 
Mm. I want the pool boy. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you know what? This girl's story, that is totally different than what Trisha is saying. She's like, I, I did, I was at a strip club working for three days and someone walked in. That's kind of like what she made it sound like. So, way, way to totally change that narrative. Because if she posted something on Instagram or something, uh, that's different from her walking in. Posted, yeah. So she posted a picture and Paul posted it on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, that makes it sound totally different. But, you know, with Trisha, surprise, surprise, she ain't telling the truth. Ooh. We should go to, like, oh, we should find a person. Oh, thanks, I'm Sims not, fan. Like, tall and dark and handsome. Like, Stella got her groove back. Trisha got her groove back. I oh, okay. Have a good, uh, have a good evening, Sims fan. That in my life. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get it. Hear your thoughts. Oh, what is ah? Oh. Yeah, she's a grown ass woman hitting thirty going after little kids. So, is so Sniper a... Wolf, Wolf a, a map? No, not a map. Yeah, look, look who's talking. There's video of of her father who passed, and you know, um respect to the people who are not here anymore but there's video of her of shani's father saying that he had chase a what a 14 year old out of her out of the house when she was like 18. so i don't want to hear her talking about maps or whatever words that they make up it's, it's freaking ridiculous uh, shani's all into the, the catching the pedos but she is one herself or well technically a hepophile Almost thirty, and she sexualizes things, and then it's oh, uh, you're you're like fuck off, right? No, she actually, knew the rules. You know what, dude? I'm not. I'm surprised. And it wasn't a job she was trying out for three days. It was yeah, it was a trial. Boom. And I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, most of the time, uh, what is it? A month, three months? I mean, Renee. Uh, Crazy Renee, if anyone didn't know, Crazy Anna down there used to uh, do, uh, uh, she used to hire people. So she would know out of all of us, uh, Crazy Ann, how long is the trial period? A month? Three months? But yeah, you're right. That would definitely be a trial period. They hired me. <laughs> I think he, he was 15 or so. Okay. I, or yeah, I think it was like a 15 year old. But yeah, she was definitely not 15. But I, I just love when Shane talks about pedos and she kind of did that herself janice is not bored of me she's at work so who's jim Jan jim's your partner right yeah my partner that i live with she'll, she'll be home from work soon though uh, y'all have partners i have a dog hey roots what's up i'm not missing snoring i'm not Oh yeah, not not for a stripper, uh, crazy. Just in in um, you know, in general, it's about ninety days. I figured. I'm missing all the other stuff. I like, I like my space now. I, I hear I, you. And then all. The <laughs> yeah, Shady, you try to do that. You like your space. It's too bad you take all the space in the room. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I really just like this woman down here. She's had nothing but many tries. I've even tried to help her. Fix her channel, fix her life, fix her, just her reputation, and she just, she's a piece of shit. So many people have tried to olive branch to help her fix uh, her YouTube, whatever you want to call it. And she's horrible. Shady for Christ will never change. And I'm sure Trisha and the other two, I'm probably the same boat. All of a sudden, it's like, okay, there's no desperate need for me to have someone spend the night. So it's like, okay, go home yeah, now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Right? <laughs> get up and go. Like, up and go. I love that shiny laugh. Hard thing to deal with. Like I, I get into these like um moods. Yeah. And I switch. And I yeah. go from like automatically affectionate, whatever, and then all of a sudden it's like, all right. Like I had enough. Well, Renee, if you if you want to post your uh, if you, if you want to post that video in the chat. If you know how to do that, you just copy it and just share it and you can put it in the chat. And then when people are done, they can they can go check that out. I'm fine with that. Like this. I know how to leave. I know when to keep. I'm not staying. I'm not attaching. It is time to go. If yeah. you're sleeping with me and holding me in your arms, I'm going to wake up in love with you. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, wow. So now you're telling men to leave instead of them telling you to leave. Yes. Oh, here kind we go. Of, kind of like, okay, thank you. Here's a little pat. I'm going to get off my arm if you're going. <laughs> Yo, every so often when Shani, uh, when she laughs, she'll do this, what we call the Robert De Niro face, where it's just like, it's not sexy. It's just, it's just weird. <laughs> but 
But yeah, it just turns into Robert De Niro sometimes. To get out of the bed. <laughs> you know, when I was dating, so, you know, I don't date no more. I'm with one person. That's who I'm I have to wait for Oh, ladies, please sit down. In the no, I don't worry. Mummy, me, when my partner snores and I tell him, turn over, and he goes, you turn over, and I said, you're snoring. He goes, you're the one snoring. All I care about, go away. <laughs> you, know, you know what's so weird about this, Jude? Shani did the same thing. She worked somewhere. She was driving her dad's truck to work, and she got fired for posting pictures, going online, when they told her, don't go on YouTube when you're at work. So it's kind of funny that they both got in trouble for doing the same thing, but she's like, oh, someone saw me and I got fired. And she doesn't even bring it up. But uh, I know that that happened. It's just interesting that none of these two can turn off the camera to do a couple hours. You have to elbow someone. Like, you're you're not breathing. You have what is called, like, sleep apnea or something. Yeah. Mm. That's what I believe I have. Isn't it funny how something can go from, like, so cute to absolutely fucking irritating and annoying that anybody else does? Yeah. I can handle my partners. I can handle my partners. Don't worry, but I can't handle anyone else snoring. Stacy will move in. So Stacy said she'll move in with you, TT. When did I say that? But okay. I mean, I, I'm, not saying I wouldn't, I'm not saying I wouldn't. But. Would it get you American citizenship? You can be my 90 day fiance. Yeah. I've got that availability. For when, hey, Cam, this video is. I, uh, it was given to me a few days ago. It's from, like, I think. Uh, over a week ago this kind of started everything with uh truthfully trisha and kind of the groups merging together because once i heard about this that she had uh shady for christ paneling i didn't know who trisha was i thought she was trisha paytas at first um and then i got all these videos of who she was and i'm like oh she's equally as awful and then i just started watching her and that's kind of like where it went but yeah this is from i would say over a week ago but she of course take took it off her channel um i know a couple of people that just record everything she does so they've been sending me some videos to uh to uh review with you guys because obviously you can't see anywhere else <laughs> oh can it's I join can you be on tv it can be on tv again North Stacey, i want to join you too we could be like a threesome <laughs> what is it a thruple oh my god we break yeah. only fans oh, oh god. you break thing. the bed the funniest thing with you this so i was looking this up like, what's the number one? Like, all right, so there's this, like, sex doll for men that, like, all right, so I have, um, distributed. Oh, I got to buy one of them just for my partner, so I wear oh, The number one best-selling doll is over, like, $3,000, but she's got right, curves. Okay. She's got... Play you. <laughs> Oh. Sorry about that. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> oh look, now 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 all got now all got screwed up. Renee, like I said, you could put in your thing. I, I can't do it. Alright, well, one second. <laughs> I think I broke it. Oh, hold on a sec. I'll just duplicate the tab. Like, what's the number? There we go. Like, all right, so there's this, like, sex doll. Sorry about that, everybody. That, like, all right, so I have um, distributed. I wake up and buy one of them just for my partner, so I wake up and buy one The number one best-selling oh, doll okay, sorry. is over, like, $3,000. But she's got curves. She's got fat dad. She's got tushy <laughs> Ew, that that house would smell so bad, Cam. I, I, ew. The smell, the stink, the the you know. Right away, I bet you know there'd be all a bunch of shit and food and f blood on the walls and everything. She does that in every house she lives in. She's just a disgusting person, and I. And it looks like Stacy and this Beck person, they're not so cleanly either. Looks like she's got like a half-eaten pop tart over there on her plate. And Trisha, I don't know. I mean, I barely been able to see much of her house, but I wouldn't be surprised if she wasn't the most cleanliest person. <laughs> She's got mismatched boobs, like yeah. a real person, and it's the and number one so like, sex doll, not the cute little, you know, hourglass figure, tiny waist, little. You know, it, it's like wow. 
Bro, I feel so bad now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys want a normal woman. They don't want like they don't want fake. No. They, they want real a real woman look. They want the They want a real woman that's like 450 pounds and has dad marks on their on their baby like boobs and uh all sorts of smells of fish and oh what, what did ref say it smelled like fish and shit in her, her vagina she was doing these shower videos remember guys and shaney had all these douche products and people were like yo what's up with all those douche products and rev's like oh this is normal and then everyone in the chat was like no that's not normal at all <laughs> but yeah everyone wants a real woman no they just want a normal uh woman or someone who showers at least once a week shaney a little tubby a they little tubby. She's a little tubby, folks. They want the boobies. They don't yeah. want the, cat piss. Want, that's right, cat piss. That Hollywood has been pushing for years. Yep. Yeah. Hollywood, and, and that you know why? To fit on the screen. Like they want that image that sells things, but in actuality, like what? I'm five foot nine. Most of these women are like five feet tall, a hundred pounds. You know? Oh, so and so is mad. There's 107 people wasting their time right now. I know, I'm an author of 107 people. Watch me eat pickles earlier today. It's <laughs> so Ew. trolling. I I was a bad angle. Everything. I loved it. All right, so you t so you're admitting you did that because you knew that would get you views. Fo uh, fellatio in uh, pickles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously, well, I I seriously think that really. It's you, the side chat, the people that are here that I hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He smelled the bra. That's right. So, yeah, we, men do not want that. And that's disgusting but for her bra to smell like cat piss. Like, that's that's really gross. You're wasting time, not us. Yeah. Ooh. We're having a good time. What are you doing? We're having, yeah, having, having, having a We're having a good time. We're having a good laugh. Oh, hey, Miss ATX. What's up? How you doing? You know, I had to go and get changed and put a different dress on, put bras on. Does anyone be okay? Oh, uh, you're not feeling so well? What's up? I, I hope everything is okay, Miss ATX. Um, hey, hey Miss ATX, uh, Crazy Anarchist, that's my wife. Uh, uh, crazy, uh, Miss ATX is married to Sean, and he's the ex-husband of Truthfully Trisha. And they've been really cool to me, nothing but nice, uh, invited me into the community or their community. So I'm very, uh, appreciative so that's kind of a little background um no like come on I, my jugs aren't fucking pointing freaking straight yeah. anymore they're going down and down down you know like i'm thinking about getting a boot job <laughs> no i wondered about that it was like well considered like i have an accident so i have a little bit so a bra for me is like a corrective lens for for yeah. something but i don't whatever no one's ever yeah, that's how I feel. Okay, and they are very similar. It's just, yeah, there's just a weight difference. And I keep hearing Trisha talk about, I want to get a boob job. Like, she's just another one. She just wants them just so big that she can't even see the, the world. She's just going to be like this all day. It's, you know, I wonder how life is like when you're living in a different reality in your head. Like, does that make it better? I would think it doesn't. When people are, like, talking to her head, like, yo, you are wrong, Trisha. She kind of, like, has this look like she's going somewhere else. Like told me, hey, you need to get yourself fixed or whatever. Like, I always get, I love your boobs. Shane, yeah. my partner loves my Yeah, right? I, I don't go like, this is the truth, Draven's Crypt. <laughs> I should just write the liar, Draven's Crypt. Boobs <laughs> the way they are. He doesn't give a shit if they're fake um, at all. Like, what they look like, he loves them, so I don't care. <laughs> you know? I've got a good man. Hey, I don't have to worry about it. Wait, no, Stacy, like, how long have you been partnered up for? Uh, five five years at uh, five years. Oh wow, Shani, how long have you been married for or together? Uh, I've been married now with 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 who I'm with for four years. Oh, see, I told you guys, she knows to to pause that screen when she's smoking because you just saw that smoke. She's been with him four years. She, you're not married because you know you're not married. So stop it. They have no wedding rings. They got no marriage certificate. Nothing. Damn, y'all are lifer or like long time. I yeah, it's first. my longest relationship. I cracked up over eight months. Imagine that shit. Well, because I really cared about someone, but imagine if I really loved someone for like five years. It's my husband just said you can jump in and be our third. Ew! Why? Oh, look at that, that, that face, the four teeth. 
She was going to do that. You, you could jump in and be our third. Yeah, because uh, Shani was always looking for a third, but no one was interested. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard time just being one. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. I'm not ever going to be another third again. Oh. No. No. He said, no, you'll be an equal one. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet. <laughs> Rev just wants to be with a with a female that's like you know close to his weight. I've been there. I've been there and done that. I probably wouldn't do it again. <laughs> yeah, right. Four years is life. Yo, if four years is life, then my God, we've been married forever. <laughs> that is not fun. Then at the end, like, <laughs> Almost twelve years. That's good. Good. Good for you, Grampy. That's awesome. Everybody, Grampy Lobster's been married for almost twelve. That must have been, you know, a, a hard twelve years, right? You guys are definitely lifers. Oh, right, Nissa? Yeah, 20 years. May, for May, sure. my partner, on what are you for her what, Beck? Me and my partner, my partner and I, we met on an online dating service and we've been together nearly eight years. Eight years in October. So, online dating does work for some people. I don't know, me, but you know. Might... Yes, they might work for some people, but I'm happy that me and Crazy Ann here, that we actually met the old fashioned way at a bar. <laughs> And actually just didn't know we were going to meet, but actually met face-to-face -face and talked. Nothing to do with online at all. Sometimes the old ways are still the greatest ways. Ask Grampy Lobster. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, like... I thought Rev ADHD was a girl. Oh, no, Rev... Rev Revelina. <laughs> Shani's married to a dude. Yeah. Uh, well, no, they're not married, Miss ATX, uh, because she does... I won't finish. I'll say part of her last name. She goes by Shani Dorn. But there's a little bit extra. And that's the name of her ex-husband, Chris. Rev Jason has a different last name. They never got married, but they were they kept saying that they were common law married in Colorado because they were together for a few years. And then they moved to Scranton, Pennsylvania, and in Pennsylvania there is no common law at all. Wow, really? And that's awesome. 17 years. That's you know, guys, that's a long time to be married. But yeah, that's that's it. Four years and five years. Oh, it's eight months. Eight so months. I really love it. No, I get it. I'm going to be honest, Drew. It doesn't matter if it was eight years, eight months, or eight days. If you fell in love with someone, it's not your it's not your choice to fall in love with them. That's what happens. Like, All right, but you can't. If you fall in love, you can't just automatically say that you're married. That you know, make that makes marriage to me seem cheap. You have to go down the aisle, or you have to go sign a papers with a judge, get a ring, say vows, so it doesn't feel like it's nothing. I feel like at least if you say vows, then you know, all right, I'm not gonna cheat on this person. This is for real, for serious. You know, it brings more credit to it than we're just married. You know, I couldn't help but fooling my mm. big tub of Yeah, I, I know, Miss ATX. Rev does look like a, a female. And uh, he when uh, he used to drink a lot of alcohol, and when he'd get wet brain, he would get all messed up, and Shani would dress him up like a girl and call him Revelina. Remember those good? Remember those times, folks? <laughs> Yes, I agree. I had that happen too. Yeah. Like Christmas Day, I had my closure, and then it was like finally I got closure. You know, it's like mm -hmm. splinters left, and then the super. Yeah, I, I bet Shani knows about uh, fights and stuff around Christmas Day. I think that's when she got kicked out of her parents' house for the last time, because her kids were peeing on the floor and peeing in jars in her parents' room. So you know, there's that. I don't know what is what's up with low cows always fighting around Christmas Day, New Year's Day. For some reason, the holidays just brings out the worst in these people. Facebook, it's like reminder: this is you a year ago. You're the happiest woman in the world. Now you're fucking miserable. Yeah. Ah! You know, so it was like let it go, let it go, let it go, move <laughs> on. I let it all out. Then I felt better. Then everything like I, I've dated more. Um, I, I've been out on a few dates since Christmas. Mm -hmm. And yeah, right. Wrong. Those poor parents. Yeah, I, I, there's videos of them talking about it. 
and Shane be like, they're liars, this and that, and then, and then like you know, she'd wait, she'd wish death on her father, and then when her father actually passed, the trolls actually found out first. And then she was like, oh, my daddy, like total bull crap because she didn't care a week ago. She was wishing COVID and death on the man because he lied about her uh, having sex with a 15 year old boy. Like, give me a break. Shinny was a horrible child. That's good. Yeah. How did they go? How did the dates go? Yeah. Well, someone I started getting feelings for really quick. Okay, this girl's journey. Thank you for uh, stopping by. I appreciate it. And then yeah. like, he taught me how to throw axes. Yeah, how was that? He the inner Viking in me, and that scared the shit out of me that I liked. <laughs> She's like, "How was that? I've had, I've had uh, history with axes, <laughs> but I didn't try to throw them at, at, at my ex-husband's uh, brother." I... So, no, I yeah. Did she get? Uh, I don't know. You know what? She uh. She also has a, a normal sister and a brother who's gay. Uh, Shani, I'm talking about. She still has her mom left. Her mom's in hospice care. She doesn't do anything to help with that. And uh, I found out everything is going to her sister. And I'm guessing because the father thought that uh, Shani told the, her parents that Jason was a millionaire. Rev, Jason, whatever. And I'm sure that dad was like, well, if, if you're financially stable, then you don't need my money and gave the money to the sister. And uh, I made a video on that and Shani totally freaked out on me. I actually have a copy of it <laughs> and I did a video on it as well. Totally freaked out on me. I didn't know what I was talking about. Hey, I just know if she's going to freak out at her sister for getting money because she won't get the inheritance. That's kind of messed up. I don't know why why she had to direct that hate at me. Yeah. It's, uh -uh. I, um, to transfer with this I basically okay. have jumped from relationship to relationship when I was dating. Hey, Barry, I, what's up? I spent a whole entire year living on my own, learning who I've already gone for a year before I even met my partner that I've got now. And I've done, I think I've done great, best thing I could. You know, like he's, he's a man. He's a real man. He'll tell me what for. He'll turn off my internet like he has before. Uh, dude, yeah, what it was was Rev had, when his, when his mom was alive, uh, the father was left money, t uh, to, uh, to them. And then there was a bunch of insurance policies his mother left for, for Rev slash Jason to basically, he'd be able to take care of everything. Hey, Janice, what's up? Good to see you. And because, uh, you know, I guess Rev's mom thought that it, that he would be, you know, spend the rest of his life in Pennsylvania. She hooked him up with the house and with money, about seven to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. And he, when he got together uh, about four years ago with Shani, she squandered all the money, so they're broke. But if uh, if he would have stayed in Pennsylvania and kept fixing the house up, they'd still be there where they ended up, and he probably'd have money left. But uh, Rev has never worked a day in his life. He's almost 40. He never had a real job. He was trying with the stock market, but the stock market tanked. And Rev doesn't know what he's doing. And you know what? Karma gets everybody, you know, especially the local house. He'll come in and switch my computer off if he gets me. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. Right, well, Caroline? I agree. My last husband I met on Plenty of Fish. Oh, and we were together. For, yeah, we were together for seven years. My Good. girlfriend messaged me on there, too. And then the, the husband I'm with now, we actually known each other for YouTube for years before we even got <laughs> together. So we known each other for 10 years and only been together romantically for four. Oh, hey, Aries. So that could help happen if you know someone online for you. Uh, I don't know. A A Aries, uh, Rev said he had, to, he had to sell the Dogecoin money before it went up in value because they ran out before they left Colorado. So who knows? Years and I'm, I'm like, I vomit when I start getting certain feelings. I get really sick. I'm like, what? Yeah, maybe you're not ready yet. I think so. Whenever I, there's like this certain thing that happens, all of a sudden I get mm -hmm. that, like, you know. Um, I'll be quite but, honest with you. I fall in love real easily as well. And I've, I learned that. Yeah, yeah I, I think uh, anyone who supports Shani is, uh, you know, it's purely for those children, I would guess, right? Because, you know, forget feeding her fat ass. Um, they feel sorry for her kids, but really they should tell her that she needs to get a job because those children 
have been through so much you know i've seen videos that where she would ask if, if they wanted to eat her table scraps it's horrible it's as horrible as you would guess if not more you know like miss atx i know you guys don't like uh trisha but Shane for christ is equally as bad if not worse because she's also abused her own kids wrong. like when i want the male energy like falling in love when you want that male energy or the fe- i go male and feminine like i need that male energy or i need that feminine energy yeah right janisha like renee decided to show up however <laughs> i when i uh i'm just i'm gooey as like i'm just all gooey everywhere just mm. Gooey. Yeah, I am. Um, I really gooey. I've only ever yeah, seen my long term boyfriends. Like everyone thinks that I'm a huge slut because I've had like what eight boyfriends, but they're all long term. Yeah, I agree, Cam. It's uh, it's her whole bread and butter. It's her life. She needs to stream. And those Trish Renee videos are just awful. <laughs> you know, like, come on. You know, like long term, you know, long term, a year or whatever, six months, whatever. Like, come on, like. That's not too bad, Beck. Uh. Uh, Janice, I asked the same question. I have to look more into her. She's basically a, a racist Australian. That's kind of what I got. So she's an Australian locale who also says the N word like Shani. I have more than that. Did more people than eight. I mean, hey, BB, like, what's about up? It. I mean, like, most people. Hey, come on. I have a lot of short term relationships, so, like, yeah. Guys will say anything to get, like, to hook up, of course. Like, oh, you want a relationship? We can get into a relationship. Oh, I changed my mind. Oh. I wonder what you say. It happens all the time. It does. It happens all the time. I, um... I wonder how many... How many guys do you think this Shani has been with? I would say... I mean, I know know there's some desperate dudes out there. I would say no more than, like, 15. Because some dudes... Some guys do have standards. I know there's a lot that don't, but... Like the way she talks, like, oh yeah, I've been there. So many men that just want to get with this hot body. Like, really? <laughs> don't, don't, you know, it's frustrating. But I'm no female Casanova, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, there she is! Yeah. There she is! There's my stalker! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's- here she goes. Here's her stalker. Oh, which one? Is she talking about Paula? <laughs> We're at F in my chat right now at 1.10 in the morning where she... If- I'm sorry, I said. Oh yeah, that's that's right. Trisha did this video like at one o'clock in the morning, so she thought that that would like you know make sure the stalkers would be sleeping by then. But she doesn't know us stalkers. We don't sleep. Ha ha ha. With her husband right now. She has been on my chat all fucking day. I'm not lost. Hey, original. What's up? I'm not lost. I have have my opinion about that woman, and I will not speak it. I have my opinion about that woman, and I'll go. Oh yeah, yeah. Shane looks like she's get out. Plenty of uh, BJ's. I better, but you don't want us to have the cozy words coming out. <laughs> Not that she created you the last couple. Uh, Carla, Shani doesn't know how to put on makeup. She guesses and she sleeps in the makeup, and she barely showers, like maybe once every two weeks. That's why she always has her hair up. Her hair is so greasy and nasty. She wears these moo moo things. She's just a mess. She don't wear underwear. She don't wear bras. And like she's just a mess. <laughs> That's all I can say. Like the stream, folks. <laughs> Couple of years, like the last few years. I, I, I said the N word. Big deal. I said the N word. Yeah. Get the hell over it. I will say it again and again. I don't give a fuck. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. This yeah. is this one. Desperate as f in my chat right now at one ten in the morning. Where if I'm sorry, I said. Listen to what this Beck right person now. says. She's been on my chat all fucking day. I'm not lost. Hey. I'm not lost. I have, I have my opinion about that woman and I will not speak it. Huh? I've got my opinion about that goes. woman and I've got lots to say about her, but you don't want us to have the cursey words coming out. <laughs> not that she's treated you the last couple of years, but the last few years. I, hey, I said the N word, big deal. I said the N word, get the hell over it. I will say it again and again and again. I don't give a fuck. Oh, my God. Now. <laughs> The best thing to take away from that, folks, is she said that she said the M word. She'll say it again and again and again and again. She don't give an F. And then you have Shani saying, oh, God, like, you know, like, because, you know, Shani's done the same thing. No Fs to give. Like, they'll just be as racist as possible. They don't care about anyone's feelings. Awful, awful people. Yeah, Caroline, they're, they're, they're nuts. They, they all need to be in local jail. <laughs> right. Not eating nothing. I'm chewing gum. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
uh, this one, Boss Bitch Beck, or Bitch Beck, whatever. And I just think it's fitting that Shinny laughed at her saying that, that she said the N-word over and over because Shinny's like, oh, well, she can relate. She's done the same thing. Just two disgusting racist human beings. I'm Gina. Bobina. <laughs> yeah, right? Her they are triggered right now. They're so triggered. Well, I, I wonder why they would be triggered. Maybe because uh, Bitch Beck just said that she'll be racist and do it again and again and again. And you laughed at that. Like in solidarity, like you agreed, like you thought that was cool. So I wonder why people would be triggered, even at one o'clock in the morning, folks. Interesting. Yeah, I want she to stop that. Yeah. You're not my oh no, they're all talking. They're gonna stupid. find out that we're all the same people that've been stalking all of you at the same time. Oh no. <laughs> I don't always look stoned. Yeah. I'm not even high. What the fuck? <laughs> they're like, yo, are you high over there? <laughs> yeah, she looks like she's on something. <laughs> That's great. I, I quit smoking weed a long time ago. All right, then you're on pills. Made me paranoid. Yeah. yeah I started doing that to me, too. Yeah. We, we, one thing we don't want, folks, is a paranoid, truthfully, Trisha. <laughs> Maybe she'll start telling the truth. Oh. Paranoid. Can you imagine that? It does make me a little paranoid, but not much. But um, here's a, suge a suggestion. Instead of just smoking it, you make brownies and you eat it. It's totally different story. I ate it. Um, <laughs> I went to a legal dispensary <laughs> yeah, back in Nebraska. Illinois, it's a legal dispensary that's like, 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 oh yeah, same here, Miss ATX. If someone was like, I like to be racist all all day and night, I'd be like, well, you know what? Then thank you for stopping by, but it's time to go because there's gonna be people on my chat, in my panel that aren't gonna be okay with that type of attitude. And you know, it's like, sorry, you have to learn to respect other people's feelings. Or maybe some people you might think that they're white, but they're mixed. Or they might have someone of a different race or religion or color or background in their family. I mean, you really don't know. For them just to be happy about that they could be racist and that's cool to them. Like it's it's gross. Yeah, they are trash. Exactly, they Caroline. Have everything. You're like, oh, I want lollipops. Oh, I want chocolate. Oh, I want... and then trying it. Thanks, like, Lisa. All of a sudden, it hits you, and then everything just like. Whoa. 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 <laughs> the Shane deals with that every day. <laughs> I've got to put eye drops in my eyes are bright red. I can't handle it. Is that why she uh, said that she's going to be racist? She's going to blame it on, on drugs or on pot? I'm sorry. I smoke pot every day and I don't start just saying racist shit like that. And, but hey, if she wants to take that angle, whatever, teach her own. There's no more. You know, you me sometimes it's like that. <laughs> Beaving savages. Yeah, you know, my favorite was when they were talking about Native Ranch. Like, hey, Constitution, what's up? Honest, right? Will you marry me? Trish uh, this was. I have to say, uh, Miss ATX might know more than me. I would say this is about a week ago. Again, somebody, um, you know, that likes my streams, uh, you know, copies her videos. And this was the last truthfully Trisha video that she did before she took it down for getting a bunch of hate because obviously, I mean, look at this video. But this video is really hard to find. Like I said, someone gave it to me. Uh, that's someone, you know who you are. I won't say it because I respect your... See, I know just respect people's uh, feelings of just don't mention me. And totally fine, you know. Because it's just, it's very easy to just be like, all right, I don't need to do that. You you know, you're racist. You don't need to be here. It's just, it's very easy to be cool with people. They just want to be pains in the asses. <laughs> but yeah, I would say it's like about a week, week and a half ago. And then she deleted everything or privated everything. Just, uh, whatever. It's like, whatever. Who's this Toby <laughs> person who keeps trying to trigger Shane? <laughs> Toby. Uh, I don't know. I just ignore them. Everyone, Robbie's here. Oh, 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 I see Robbie. He is so beautiful. Oh, oh. I, I love when he puts his underwear pictures on like social media. I just totally like. Uh, you know, a beautiful person. She's a trashy. Person to whoever eats their own. I mean, you know, Dave Robbie is. is hot. <laughs> oh my God. I went like. All right, here's what. Oh, here you see her face. Oh my God! I, let me tell you this story. <laughs> what a Karen. <laughs> my ex-husband would have like manscaped and tried to look good and put some pepper into it. Mm -hmm. That would have felt a little bit. 
<laughs> and Shane's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, Red doesn't shave nothing. Because if he did, he would have no penis at all, right, Shani? Okay, it wouldn't have, but it still would have, you know. Not to me. I've seen him in one of your videos, and I'm like, oh, God. Oh, Robbie, God. Oh, I love you, St. Robbie. I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do my eyes with one man. <laughs> well, it's funny, Cam, that they said in the beginning of the stream when I first started that they were going to talk about other things. They weren't just going to talk about their haters because there are more than their haters. But as you as you've noticed, this is all they're talking about because this is all they are. Yes. Maybe carrots. Yes, double shot. I'm like and and Miss ATX, that's a. Uh, that's a uh, pun at uh, her uh, boyfriend's, uh, Jason's uh, little pee-pee. Because uh, they did OnlyFans, and they were like, Ew, what is that, baby carrot? A baby carrot with, like, a piercing at the end of it? It was really gross. I don't recommend you looking it up. <laughs> I'm still crushing. I'll turn him straight. Maybe something about being straight, because I'd like to... They worship the carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Watch cartoons. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I um, I will watch movies. I'm happy. Oh, stay. Yeah, where did she go? Oh, she go? Did she oh no. I I would watch. See, Robbie, if you have an OnlyFans, you know, I I don't mind um, watching you. What? Yes. Yes. Oh. Your balls. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect ones too. <laughs> If you press the wrong button, you're gonna have to put the link back in the chat. Yeah, like that is weird. When when you, when your penis uh, goes into a point, and then he says he has Eastern European floppage. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm so bad right now. He's intoxicating me with his beauty. I oh. love him. Like, hey, Obama, if I've got a fart, I'm just gonna mute the mic and freaking like, <laughs> like. Like, oh yeah, yeah, right, Barry. We're like in farm school together right now. <laughs> you know, Anish says, Trisha, I want to talk to you about our relationship. No, <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Yo, Shani's laugh is so devilishly evil. <laughs> it scares me. Me to money. I love you. Oh, I'm gonna do that. But if people ask me to do anything oh, on the screen, go pay me. He says, pay me! Oh, not all the time. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Oh shit, there yeah, is. Yeah, I agree, C1 Row. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, 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 Who's this? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Yeah. I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here with this. <laughs> Well, oh, here Rev talking. Wow. He's jelly. What did we just watch? It was that meme straight up. The Indian guy that like is the most confident about himself meme. <laughs> Yo, them two can't stop smoking pot like to save their life. Yeah, you know it's like all the and, and they, like, again they have children like not far away. They're not even eighteen yet. And even if it is Delta 8, still, you want to get your kids all messed up on that? I'm dirty my glasses up. I am in that, my, my Dr. Phil office is in that one mud hut on the other side of India with the one TV antenna for the whole bunch of what? people. I don't even know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I'm tweaking right now. It was so funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was funny as crap, man. <laughs> no, I'm glad I set up that one. <laughs> Poor guy. He wants. He wants to marry me. No, yeah. I don't know. I'd choose him over my ex-husband any day if I could go back. Oh man, here she goes. <laughs> She's so butthurt. Man, oh, Miss ATX. She right, really misses Shani, Shani. I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna go get food for dinner tonight. Yeah, get yeah. out of here, racist. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. You look so amazing. You're all week, everyone. Um, I will. Um, if you do these live panels again, let me know. Um, I'm on, on Instagram. I think I'm added on to your Instagram. I'll have a look over there in a minute. Um, absolutely. Yeah, go for it. I don't even know my name on Instagram because I don't use Instagram. So, um, yeah. But you guys will have a nice night, guys. Night and done. Love you all. Night and done. Bye. Bye. Oh, now we're left with oh, just the two. <laughs> and then there were two. You know. Lol cows. Oh, he was rubbing his nipple looking at me and us. Wow.
Oh wow. yeah, right. Somewhere around the world, there she'd be like, a, "So a, a person rubbing." What are you into? Uh, I'd be like, "Uh, well, I like guitar and acting." Well, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Like, she probably would cut you off right away within thirty seconds, talking about her stupid channel and all the all the time she was on Doctor Phil. <laughs> Watching us. I I don't understand why, but hey, man, if that that gets him going, <laughs> he had a little bit of abs there, I think. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. um, I, I got to show you how I rub it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you said Dell tech support. Oh, sorry. Oh, that poor guy. He's sorry. Right now. Yo, Jason's he's getting so angry. Now while he's watching us. Oh, lovely. Could you how many subs do I have? Oh, I'm not sure. Like 688, 690? I know I'm close to 700. I'm hoping to get to reach 700 subs within the next day or two. My goal is to get to a thousand, and I really feel like uh, 2022 is my year to do that. So, if you know people that aren't subscribed to me, share my stuff so I can get there. Because another 300, I'm so close that I can finally get monetized. Can you imagine now, what would it be like to just say, "Okay, I'll marry you," and then this would be like a job. Come oh on down. God. Come on down. You don't know what you're getting yourself into, Trish. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. Could you imagine that though? Oh, um, no. No, I would never do that. <laughs> Crazy, spontaneous. What did she, she was so single. She met a dude in her chat room. All the way. I yeah, FedExed in here. Definitely. I FedExed. But you, a lot of these videos, like I said, people have been giving them to me because either they were privated or they're, they, they're gone or people clipped them right when they went live. But a lot of this stuff you can't find without knowing someone who archived them. No. Gina, that was awkward quick. <laughs> Hope he wasn't yeah, right underage. Right. I you agree. can certainly tell dude was not underage. The, yeah, the hair. <laughs> dude was like 45. Yeah, oh. something like that. It's like, dude, find a woman, make her happy. You'll be happy. Play yeah. with yourself like that, dude. You need to find a woman. That's just too much. Yeah, right? <laughs> ask, ask, ask her boyfriend. <laughs> ask Jason. He was a confident man, though. He, he was. He was very confident. All right, let me fast forward this a little bit, because they're just going to keep talking about this. You don't mind me saying so. Thank you. I, I think no, I'm not hitting good. on you. I'm not hitting on you. No, it's the same. No, no, here she goes. I don't know if you're hating on me or not. I love it. Hitting hitting goblets of water. I would be like, yes, girl. Yeah. Ew, I Trisha bet you finds would. love. Ooh, that's a good one. That's the name of my reality show. Trisha finds love five seconds later. Uh 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 uh. Swipe, swipe, swipe. My thumb has a mind of its own when I'm swiping on Tinder. Yeah. Nope, nope. No wonder no, why your relationships maybe, don't nope, last. Tinder, nope. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried the yes. Tinder thing. How is that? What? Tinder? Tinder? Oh, yeah. Wow. Why are you asking if you're It would just seem like just a bunch married. of guys just trying to get off. Like, it's like going shopping, right? Yeah. And you have to, you know, you, you, it's, that's why they call it yeah. like a surprise. I feel my brain cells rapidly going away, folks. Like the stream, what's please. This, you know, it's, what's this junk? <laughs> Donate really if you junk, feel like it. Surprise, feel like it. You have to like, all right, wait till the end to find out because you really don't want to say, send me a dick pic. Because you kind of just want to know. Wow. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to waste my time for a short, short man. I'm a size queen, they say. <laughs> <laughs> I got told what that was yesterday. <clears throat> the day before yesterday, he said, are you a size queen? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? And he sent me the queen. link to Urban Dictionary, and I saw Urban Dictionary, and I thought he was talking about me being in there. <laughs> and now no, he's no. like, are you a size queen? And I was like, oh, let me read the definition. I guess I am. Yeah. Don't waste my time. The two morons. Like, well, do you like it average, or do you like it bigger than average? <laughs> bigger than whatever I was, yeah. Used to oh, like, you're well, She, she isn't bitty, like bitty. Eastern European, you know, if that's what you're asking, Shani. Yeah. <laughs> Caffeine and Twinkie Dick. Ew. I apologize for that. I mean, me too, you know. Couldn't feel a thing. They tried, the ones with I the couldn't feel dicks. a thing. Okay, uh, well, what about, what about Jason? What about Mr. Baby Carrot? I'm sure you can't feel nothing. Between that and your fupa in the way, what are you feeling? An inch? You're, all you're feeling is that earring. Let's try to finesse <laughs> you more for the most part. They do. You're going to like me. Da -da 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 -da. Talk a huge game and it's like all that. All that, right, and then I do. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Maybe I embarrass people. I, I mean, not that I intentionally say it, but it's like, okay, that's all you got there. All right. The little <laughs> engine that could keep on trying. It's okay. Okay, so you're just yeah, a bitch. but some guys with little. 
But some guys who have the little ones, they they do the eating out. Oh well, we know exactly who she's talking about right here, right? Uh, Renee, right? Well, didn't she say you you can have a little winky because you eat out. You like to go downtown. We know exactly oh, what she's talking about. They have to yeah. make up. They have to make up with the you know. Tell me <laughs> love size. Oh, love you, Stacy. I'm so glad you're on here. And it's just well, you know, it's not all just about the size. It's how they use yeah, it because you can all still the have time, it, when you have it floppy and you know. On everything you want to know about sex, but you're afraid to ask, it's after 1 a.m. Ask me. Mm. <laughs> so the floppy dick syndrome, and then you know, then there's you know stress and things like that, and you kind of. I just, I think it's funny though. Every time Rev tries to do something, he can't because Shani will talk over him in every video he does. You'll never see Rev by himself on a panel without Shani being there. But Shani could go on panels by herself all day, and you don't you'll hear Rev every so often, but not as much. Because, you know, you could tell who wears the pants in this relationship. It would be like, it's okay. It's, it happens sometimes. The cringe. But yeah. depending <laughs> on, is it round three, round four, round, how many rounds? It's, it's a lot of extenuating circumstances that erectile dysfunction <laughs> is a thing. So you can't humiliate someone because they've got, you know, you got to work on it a bit. Yeah, true. So, <laughs> you know, I give it the full effort. Right. <laughs> I like to say, Ugh. dating is like job interviews. Right, and in the end, you end up naked, right? Okay, yeah, I'm really good wow. at my blowjob skills. Let me tell you how. <laughs> in ten <laughs> seconds, you can, you know, ten seconds, you're not completely satisfied. <laughs> you can get your money back. Oh, she's <laughs> she's she's a whore. I'm I sorry. <laughs> wow, talking about I blowing the, your bosses at work. <laughs> what the I, hell? I was trained. I was classically trained how to blow you know, guys. Hey, that's a real important skill. It is, you know, it is. It is. I, oh. I, I, I've, I've been very trained in that myself. <laughs> By who, Shady? That. How did you learn that? Like, someone yeah. taught me how? <laughs> he taught me how to bullshit. build a fire, and he taught me how to jerk. You know, I just <laughs> I just picked it up by the sounds of their moans, I guess. Moan? Uh, oh, yeah. You mean you take the tape off his face? Yeah, I do. I do. I don't always, like, lock them up and, you know, Shoot. put handcuffs on them. <laughs> Beat him with the you know, fish whip. Fine. Oh gosh, where's the guy? The, the the guy. He goes, Trisha, I will wait for your Rick's, answer. Uh, well, oh, well, well, no, oh no. Oh, he's freaking your other nipple. Leave me alone. Yeah. Oh, Anish, I'm sorry. That must be heartbreaking for you. <laughs> I. It is nasty. Let's be honest. I turn you, Trish. How would you turn me upside down? Let's talk sex. I love sex. Why? Because I never had much of it before the last couple of years. And then oh here we go he's like <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> yeah drink that water i think i'm talking too much i talked a lot today hours oh, wow two hours and 51 minutes Fuck. yo she is so on adderall now i see it like she just can't just sit still like, <laughs> like shut up shut the freak out just shut up <laughs> stop with the addies <laughs> you don't need it oh my god the world i keep doing it um crazy my age is 30 he says he's, he's 30, 30? Yeah. you're 30 oh wow well maybe he has stanima <laughs> what Staying power is a thing you don't need cialis or viagra you're good never 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 had a none guy of them can used it. i don't know words <laughs> don't Neither ever one. feel bad if a guy can't get an erection either he uses it too much porn is a thing he's yep. not sensitive he's hyper what not hyper um he overdoes it or he's over, not oversensitive, whatever it is that doesn't feel anything. Mm -hmm. It's the guys who, I mean, I sound like guys, the guy, like I've just, yeah, I've been with hundreds in that bed. Not. <laughs> I know you make it sound like that. not trying to get rid of me. Leave me alone. We're talking. No, we're having fun. Like, <laughs> talk about, I can talk about sex all day long. I'm good at it. Hey, hard truth. So. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I won't. No, I won't say it. I, what? No, what? what? Okay, how sexual are you? Very. Very? Uh, oh, oh, very sexual. What? Ew. What is your favorite lube? My favorite move? Lube. <laughs> what is your favorite lube? My favorite move? Yeah, she's real sexual, can't you tell? Her favorite move is just laying there and having Rev try to his best to climb t on top of Mount Shanny. My favorite lube? I don't need lube. Ew. I told you I'm very sexual. <laughs> she's like, ew. Do. 
<laughs> if I used lube, the guy probably wouldn't be able to feel nothing because I'm, I get that wet. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, I was like, as dry I'm as I'm sorry, everybody. Desert. Oh, is it sorry. because of the uh, uterus out? So, yeah. And so after having a hysterectomy, it's a little different. But I find coconut oil for everything. What? Like, coconut oil is perfect for everything. <laughs> from hair to face to, oh, you know. God. No wonder why um, she took this down. Stamps. Oh, okay. good for you. Oh, so she's going to use her food stamps to buy that she's supposed to be feeding her children guys and buy coconut oil so rev could get in better until one day you become really famous and then you don't need them oh I, only fans We're I, I'm, I'm, I'm very famous already it's just i, yeah, I just real need famous a channel that will stay instead of getting banned well, then stop putting uh, racist stuff on there. Stop abusing children. And maybe you will. But remember, YouTube is done with you, Shani. Shani for Christ will never have a monetized channel on YouTube. Once you're terminated, that is forever. She could try to just make uh, videos. But once she gets to, uh, to a point of monetization, they will always uh, kick the whole channel down. Because that's what YouTube does. Because just saying. Old. Oh, yeah. No, I've been. I, I was on. I never told you before. I have feelings for you, <laughs> right, Barry? Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. This chat does not. This is not for you. I guess not. This is not for you. But I do need to open up another OnlyFans. I do have. No, to. you don't. I. Are you I kidding think me? It's like one of the most empowering things that I've ever done. I think it's fun doing it. I really do. I I love it when the guy's like, oh man, you you got me. she made no money. Just saying, she made no money. She tried to sell that for what, ten dollars a month or fifteen dollars? Then it went to ten, then it went to a five, and then it went to three dollars. And then she put it on Pornhub, and then her her child's friends saw their mother having sex on Pornhub, and they made fun of her kid. And her kid, had, she had to pick her kid up from school because he wanted to kill himself. Yeah, Shani, good idea. Do OnlyFans again. But I guess because you're homeschooling your kids, I guess you don't have to worry about the, the blowback, right? Because, you know, my kids aren't in school. Joke's on you, right? Same thing for yourself, Kidding. Trisha. You've She's disgusting. You've overused and overstimulated it. So you can't get no satisfaction. Oh, I get satisfaction. I haven't overstimulated my woo-ha. I found out it can do some interesting things. <laughs> These like, people, what's folks. What's up with like guys that want to talk about squirting all the time? The first time I squirt, oh god, it was oh. like I thought I pissed myself. Yeah, I, 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 I. Yeah, I pissed on Rev all the time. You tell her, Shani. I, I, I when I have an orgasm, I don't want to squirt. I want a long, easy, relaxing. Oh, oh, like a let it all out kind of thing. Oh. Yeah, I like that. I don't like <laughs> it intense. Like I'm intense. not into that intensity. Like I, I just, I don't know, but it's like a thing. <clears throat> Okay. Mother oh, of the like, year, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Trisha, I will show you my love life. What's that? No. So like that was like the it's like that was the biggest thing. Like, do you squirt? And it was like, I mean, do I squirt? Do I squirt what? Like, and then yeah. so so oh, I my hear that first sticky. situation where that happened. That was back like right before COVID hit, twenty twenty four. Ah, he was like, oh, so people want to hear these stories. So uh -huh. I have some stories. So. He was, like, he was in town for training and i met him on tinder and i think he was like i don't know he was just over in russia yeah and i saw i was there i saw that nisa and we hung Awful. out and then like he had like this most amazing what kind of mother wouldn't go if if your kid is suicidal you're gonna say i'm gonna wait outside this is before covid i'm gonna wait outside in the parking lot because i just don't go into hospitals now she is the worst mother I, she's even have deserved the title of mother she is the uh, person that the babies came through. <laughs> That's what I'll call her because she, to me, she's not a mother. Our mother would actually go into the hospital instead of saying, I'm going to wait outside, outside of the, you know, like in the parking lot. Awful. And kissed, and he like did these things where he was like pressure points. He was touching me oh. like different pressure points. And then he just like scooped yeah. me up and brought me back into his room. And just, I was just like, Oh shit! Like I'm, <laughs> this is what March 2020. Oh wow! He said, "I'm good. I'm really good with my hands." I said, "What are you talking about?" And he said, "I'm going to show you something if you've yeah. never done it before." I'm like, "What are you What are you doing?" So those of us who've gone through like any type of sexual trauma, you know how hard it is to like let those walls down and that barrier there. So sexual inadequacy or sexual fulfillment is very um, <laughs> hard to do for the most part because I trusted the the moment. 
I wasn't drunk. It was like, hmm. okay, let's do this. So he started exploring my body. He started from like doing, touching me like, I don't know how I had never been touched before or since. And he just did whatever. And then he went down there and he started doing this thing like really soft and gently. And then that's where I think I discovered exactly where my G spot was. Cause he showed me <laughs> and then he did this <laughs> thing and then this thing happened and it was like, well, what did he do? What did he do? Was it like a hand thing? Like <laughs> she's like, was it like this? Yeah, you know, I'm trying to explain this to Rev. A hand thing, and he just yeah, something like that. Hey, yeah, come <laughs> over here. <laughs> I don't know, but it was a little bit more. Oh, well, you gotta. Yeah, because yeah. he didn't even have those weird faces either when he did it. Because that's like, yeah, those weird like, faces. <laughs> no, only Shinny has those weird he's faces. Like, Whatever. <laughs> I don't know, and no other guy that I'd ever been with, like, I would ever let venture in that particular. Whatever. And so whatever like slipped down there and did a little thing and he was just like he was really hot and then hmm that was happened. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then that's it. And then I saw him, I, I saw him at the grocery store getting wine one night, like way after that was like oh. <laughs> <remember> that night. <laughs> but it's like casually dating someone versus I'm gonna like shack up with them and get married. But then when they catch you off guard, like that's the worst. But having those like casual encounters those are exciting before you, like people turn crazy and you ghost them or something but you're asking yeah. about tinder yeah right tinder is like a new market like but it's fun so like and she was like oh you found I my juice spot um, i don't usually like kiss and tell yeah i haven't really told stories have i no like, i don't think so i haven't really talked wow. about like, great Yo, sexual she don't kiss and tell but uh, what, what do you call what she just said <laughs> She told us everything but the guy's name and how big his asshole was. Well, experience. <laughs> like this stream. How dude, like, I think I could be a contortionist because I got bent in half. Oh, Upside God, here down. we go. Whatever. Try this, try that. Oh, that's fun when they're throwing you all over the bed. Trying a small orgy. Who was throwing this person all over the bed? Shady, no one did. That's fun when they're throwing you over the bed. Maybe I, I bet you threw Jason all over the bed. <laughs> throwing her all over the bed. Shady is not in reality. Yo, she had to have a team of guys come in there and throw her all over the bed. 450 pounds, folks. Hey, that was exciting. Oh, um, you tried a small orgy? How, what, how is an orgy? I'm just, I'm curious about that. It's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> There's this thing called, like, it's, it's yeah, a right? secretive thing. Oh. Not secretive, but. Yeah. Little party, the shenanigans that happen. The Addies and alcohol. Like. I've never been in one. I've had, I've had threesomes, but yeah, I've never had an orgy. <laughs> I think she's just thinking her and Rev are just normal threesomes because she, you know, she's the weight of like two people. <laughs> threesomes are good, um, but like being the third though. I mean, One seventy-five yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. So I, was, so I was much more That's sexually crazy. explorative in the last six months than I was the. Eight yeah, she's thinking about Pringles. Months before the last year before that, like after mm -hmm. I got out of my marriage. I was just like hoeing for whatever. I was if it's having... a secret, um, oh what, um, oh about her? Oh no, Shani used to say that she was with a guy that his his dick looked like a Pringles can. Fun and <laughs> I was doing then that. When I, first I was super marriage. loyal mm -hmm. for like however long I was. I was super loyal. Um, I Is like she... yeah. Um, it's okay. It was a thing. I, I, she I just did. Yeah. Before. I know how it is. Yeah, she'll get all big with the talk, and then she's like, yeah, and it was a thing, and yeah, I, I don't want to, like, kiss and tell. Like, uh, what? Like, wow. Like, you said all that shit, and then, yeah, uh, this, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was a thing, and we did the thing, and, uh, and, uh, it, it was exhausting, but I, I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting. Crazy. It's it for them to... New, been everywhere, done everything. Yeah. So after a while, it's like, you know, what's new? What's different? Then you're like, okay, I'm all right with that. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, like, I don't know, like the the guys like over 28. Like I will not ever. Yeah, never she was 295. That's right, hard truth. Like, no. Early 20s. I don't care with the no. No, yeah, they don't even know life at that time. I was talking to this one guy, and he's like 30. And he's like, I would say she's about 375. Like, real, real uh, guess for me. About 375 pounds. She's big. And she's about, what, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, so, 
Five eight, five nine, about three hundred seventy-five pounds. She doesn't work out or anything, so you know, and she sits on her ass all day. She doesn't do nothing. Oh, I was with a woman, fifty-two. I'm like, that's terrible. He was like, what oh do you mean? God. Like, what fifty-two-year-old woman is gonna be with like a thirty-year-old? Well, wait till I'm fifty-two. We'll see. Well, what <laughs> what do you like? What ages for a man? Over twenty-eight for just okay. sex, for like real conversation, and that would have to be like definitely over forty. Okay. So if you're if under I 30, she'll, it, she'll bang you. If like you're over 40, then she'll just talk to you. Like late 30s, <laughs> early 40s, my age. But definitely, yeah. like, I couldn't do, like, that sugar baby thing. I could not. Could no. not. Right? Because, no. see, I, I wouldn't ever want to be, like, a cheater, you know? So I, yeah. like, you know. I yeah. bet you she's cheated. I don't know anything about the sugar baby thing other than yeah. it's, like, an older man. Yeah, no. Touch them. Yeah. No. All right, maybe 400 then, okay. Caroline. <laughs> I'm okay. Hey, and you know what? It's not any of y'all's. Who cares? They could be whatever. Who cares? Why does it matter to you what other people do? Well, if they why want are you to telling people? Scam people and have sex all day and eat filet mignon at night, let them do it. It's not your fucking business. That's funny that, that she said that. If they want to scam all day and eat filet mignon... <laughs> Because, you know, that's what Rev said, that he, they were, you know, he said something horrible, I don't want to repeat it, but uh, they were just, you know, making fun of people that were in the welfare system that used EBT cards, and now that she's in the welfare system using EBT cards, to me, that's just called karma. And that's why we care, uh, Trisha. Shani used to say stuff to us, she would say that yeah, you're a peasant for drinking that those uh, uh, gallon bottles of, gallon jugs of water. Because remember... Only peasants drink water, and um, you know we have to bow down to her because she was our millionaire, and so it's only just delicious karma that we, you know, see her, that her life has turned to shit. <laughs> I don't scam anyone for you anything. I'm never Bullshit. Gonna do that because that's not my place to ever confront that or ask that. That's your business what you do. We're online. I need money. I'm moving they, out. Well, they say I'm scamming because I get monetized and make money off YouTube. That's me scamming. For them. You. you got monetized for one month and within that month is when she moved from Colorado to Pennsylvania drove there and the whole time she was begging people for money uh Jason her boyfriend was was screaming at her autistic son calling him a retard because he had the cat on his lap and um the cat they didn't even bring a cat carrier for the cat I don't know who does that the other cat carrier was, was filled with cat shit and uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, that was a bad month that she was monetized. Only a month. And she got her money that she, that she he was owed to. But uh, to me, that was uh, disgusting. You were begging for money that whole trip. Because, you know, otherwise the kids would have to sleep in the car. Remember that, guys? I remember that. <laughs> Gross. Man. Isn't that stupid? It's like yeah. they make money off my own videos. Shouldn't she they be the ones called a scammer? But no. who cares? It's two o'clock in the morning. Why yeah. do they care what Fair you use. do? I mean, no, no. we all just go to bed. I know what yeah, I'm Yeah, they put do. a cat in a bag. Yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> I feel frisky. get high. Time. Oh, what are you frisky yeah. for? Yeah, oh, stop on. it, Shani. Oh, well, okay. That red dress. I thought you were going on a date today. What happened? With I went that? out and then I came back home. Yeah, he wasn't. Nah. Nah. I was like, oh, hey, I forgot something at home. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man! You two wouldn't just take it away if they didn't have government. They took it away, and then she appealed it, and it was uh, electronic, so it was a computer generated, a, a bot appealed it, and then when a someone who worked for a news organization found out, they said, "Hey, you guys appealed her, and she, you know, uh, her boyfriend uh, abused her child on stream on camera." They took it away again, and then when. Um, he was yelling at her. They said, Shani, do you need us to call the police and have a welfare check? Uh, and she said nothing. She just kept staring at the camera. And guess what happens when she got to the hotel? Uh, the police showed up because, of course, they did. Because, you know, those kids were crying, freaking out. It was a bad video. Uh, I, I covered a little bit of that. But, yeah, those were awful videos of her driving to uh, PA. Um, I was like, I should have FaceTimed them. FaceTime yeah. saves. Face, FaceTime I need G-Man, right? Gas, exactly. Man. Do you know in the first five minutes whether or not you want to like... Oh, God, there's Anish. 
Trisha, I want to propose to you for the first time in front of everyone. Not while you're twerking your nipple, dude. What? <laughs> and showing me or whatever. Oh gosh. So hmm. I have a real funny story a long time ago. Uh, I used to I used to have my shop, and I loved having my shop. Yeah, the boy slept on the floor, and, right, Anne? Um, being in a small town where I was, like I had a lot of haters, but I was the only novelty shop. So I'd get a lot of different people that would come in, really nice people, and things that you wouldn't, you'd be surprised that they'd want. Like, oh, okay, sure, I can find that for you. Like, no problem. Like people who've always, and to be able to be open and say, sure, like, not like I'm judging you. Like they felt yeah. comfortable enough to ask me those questions. Well, this one couple came in to my shop. Hey, baptize the fire. And they had What's their up? son with him. With <laughs> just finishing this up and it was i guess older of age she's like oh my son just turned 21 do you have any booby candles what and, <laughs> as a matter of fact i do and just that day it was funny that um i got like i'd have shipments of different stuff that would come in for like specialty orders and things like that so the 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 guy he was um smacking the butt of the mannequin near like my little register checkout area that i had that's weird <laughs> and while he was doing that i was thinking you know what because i always like to you know like, if it was a kid, I would understand. But if he was, like, 18, 19, I'd be like, oh, are you serious, dude? You're... <laughs> you know? And no one was recording it. So the distributor had actually brought this brand new, like, packaged blow-up doll. Perfect. Oh, wow. So I got the booby candles, and I got yeah. the blow-up doll in the box. And I said, here, happy birthday. She 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 hands it to him, and he was like, oh, boy. Like, he was really excited. It was like, but it was 21. And they're Stockholm, man. watched, like, special books by special kids. Like... Hey, the more people who have different stuff, you're still a sexual person. Exactly. And to, anyway, long story. So she says, well, thank you for that. Now he doesn't need a Mickey Mouse doll anymore. Ew. You just go. Oh, Anish wants to ask me something. What All right, ignore that. that. Did, you, did you get me that? Did you get that, Shani? No, she yes, didn't. Did. She's stupid. I, I heard him laughing. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best story that I had. I don't have any really. Well, except one lady who tried to return a vibrator. Like, oh my god, she no. Oh yeah, and she like I had to lock the door <laughs> on her. <laughs> like, no, I'm not going to take your I'm new not vibrator. taking that back. It's like, ma'am, I can talk to you about it over the phone. You can try to put your batteries in the other way. Gross. Like, did you drop it in water? No. Oh my god. But Ani, she wants to ask Trisha's you to marry lived him. such a charmed life, folks. <laughs> Nosy neighbor says, wasn't it funny. Oh, wasn't it funny? There's Enjoying nothing himself, man. Was like, Booby candles. Here you go. Here's a blow yeah. doll. It's like, how is, that, how is that funny? She said he, he was going to have sex with a Mickey Mouse doll. I, I think maybe he has to go to a doctor for sex addiction. I mean, really? So is the mom bought him boob candles instead of him having sex with a Mickey Mouse doll? I, I, that's kind of disgusting to me. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't give her, like, here's a, yeah. you know, a pocket pussy. I didn't give her that, did I? Imagine blow mom blowing up the blue, the, the, the blow up doll for him. What? <laughs> Aw. Gross. Hey, you know, Rev knows like, all about that, needs though. To have empowered decisions on things. Like, that's just my idea. Yeah, yeah you should brain know, cells, like, yeah. People who have problems, they, they are sexual beings, so, too. So, like, I, I, there was one lady who had Parkinson's mm -hmm. disease, and she, she was writing me out a check. She said she could hold on to a, you know what? Hey. 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 That I think my like... favorite toy, though, is a rabbit. Oh, yes. I've got all Ew. of them. I love them so much. Aren't you crazy? That's gross. They're the funnest. <laughs> That's it. Especially <laughs> the ones that have the beads that go around it. Oh. Oh, please stop. <laughs> or you can get the ones that actually do the... the... Now I regret yeah, this stream. <laughs> please like it. And and I know all that stuff. It's been years since I, like... I'm so happy to, like reopen my store again though I i've always it. wanted to work at a sex shop then maybe you should work for me Stand yeah all. i would cps I would. doesn't do I'm shit not everywhere I, would. Not, I want to you have the starbucks symbol i want my <laughs> empowered woman symbol see her right there that's it she's standing right there i love it me too Oh my god, what time is it? I'm proud of you. Oh, the unicorn thing. It's I just want to a, that. a drop the shipper. Unicorn. Seriously, right anyone could yes. do that. They're, well, it's a bath ritual. And the yeah. idea, I have to do a video about it. To put, <laughs> sprinkle the right. bath, or sprinkle it in your bath. Right, incorporate it. To absorb. And it's not all I about like, it. here. It's just the whole idea of it, like mentally. It's an exciting thing. 
And you said it smells like cotton candy. I was like, oh, it's perfect for me. It should. Yes. I love rainbows and I love I love unicorns. But I bet that rabbit's ears fell off. <laughs> in late. I got to get up at seven. So me too. me too. I got to go to bed, man. I gotta Honey go to bed. says, Trisha, I know you really love me. <laughs> yeah. Aww. She's got to get up early for work. Oh my God. <laughs> Trisha will get jealous watching each other. <laughs> Shani, we can kiss each other. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. <laughs> No. I mean, I'm sure there's someone to kiss you that's closer to you. Ooh, you know what? Kind of like different like areas of the world. I want to meet one of those really handsome Israeli like special forces guys. Ooh. Those guys don't play games. Uh oh. They're the like, security monitor no, lizard's no, still no, in here. <laughs> they're masculine, masculine, masculine men. Yeah. Not to say that our American men aren't like that's not what I mean, but I like um I like different cultures, of course, and I like different like it's just the whole no, idea no. of yeah. Me, yeah. Like, yeah, but you got those NC Southern boys. They don't boys. need to, especially you when know, the, the stuff that, that they talk about. I like about. the smell of Copenhagen and whiskey yep. and all that stuff. Oh. I, 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 She's got to get up so she can get her Delta 8. Oh, oh man, you're turning me on. That's crazy. I yeah. love, I love, I love <laughs> their accent. Hey, Rita. Yeah. The men. And, and they bow their heads to you when you walk through a door. You don't get that up north. Mm, no, no, no. No, you don't. You I'm don't get treated like a lady. Up You're north. not a lady. This is like whatever you use You're the door, I use the door. Pig, always behemoth. <laughs> but in the south, they'll bow their head, they'll open the door for you. They'll be like, ma'am. And it's like, oh, I feel like a woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I don't oh, know. I should do like a Trisha Confidential. Like, I'm someone. Oh. You could, you could make rustic. a. Um... He was really rustic. She really needs to yeah, lay off the Adderall, on. though. Her Adderall yeah. intake is insane. Dressed. Ooh. He had this real sexy hat on and just, you know, I don't know. I could think of something. I always wanted to be like a writer of erotic novels, but I can't, I can't picture like this missile entering the love canyon of. Oh yeah. Right, Barry. <laughs> it's crappy. Like, I can't it looks think like a little child druid. for it. <laughs> she started, she started drooling and she started the, the, her, her body just started. I don't know. Anyway. Yes. Well, it was awesome tonight. Just yeah. mussing around and. Mucking Absolutely. around. I hope we can do that again. Another Absolutely. Day. Hopefully we'll get Stacy in here a little longer. I love I love oh, paneling yeah. up with her. Now you get oh, it. she's like, a moron like you guys. You get why some people are the way that they are. Like why they hate so much. Like you guys are really awesome. Like Beck, love you. Oh, yeah, you guys are just wonderful. Love your racism, love, Beck. Just, awesome. We're a lot of fun. We can be fun. We can be naughty. We can be everything. We can be girls. Yeah. 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 Really yeah. Trash talking girls. Yeah. We could even do a giveaway some night. Oh, hey, why not? Fun. Give away their vibrators. <laughs> you really do have a nice narrating voice. Thank you. No, I she tried. doesn't. I, what are well, you talking you know, about? Just, I've just been you doing ever it. thought of doing podcasts? Yeah, I've been thinking about doing some podcasts. Mm, I kind of did a kind of a podcast today, tonight, actually. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's what is it? what is it? But well, she said the moon was Danny made cultists, out of cheese. Whatever. <laughs> and the earth Everyone's was like, flat. Are you starting to call? I'm like, no, it's a joke. Because a bunch of people say that they follow me because they're like Shanny cultists, so I'm like, okay, I'm just going with it this time. I'm okay. just going to rename myself. That's something you made Shani. up. Might like as well. It was really lovely, like talking to you guys today and just being crazy. It's such a fun. womanly yeah, laugh. Lovely. I'll let you go. You have a good night. I'm going to bed. Me too. Right. Sure you are. All right. Night night. Good night. Oh, hell yeah. So, uh, so there you go, people. That's it, because she just says goodbye in her own dumb way. But that was it. I hope, I hope everyone's not too uh, sickened by uh, those, uh, those, uh, those words <laughs> that that, she, that they both said. I kind of feel a little sick. But that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you, everyone. I got like forty-eight in here. Thanks everyone for coming by. Make sure everybody likes. And yeah, she does sound like a scary Sailor of the Morton. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds like such a sexy woman. <laughs> let, let me get your digits. <laughs> but uh, everyone, thank you for the new subs. Thanks for everyone coming around. Hopefully, I can get to 700 uh, in the next couple of days, and then it's three more, 300 more to a thousand. But thanks for everyone, you know, modding and stopping by and just like and please share. Um, you know, that really helps. If you know anyone who is not subscribed to me, be like, check this channel. He's pretty funny. And who knows what I'll be doing um, in the future. You know, I'll put something up in the community tab. Maybe I'll do like a uh, a poll where you guys can vote on what you'd want, what video you'd want to see next. 
maybe something with me and crazy and some other people like a panel or maybe just talk about some other person or another locale oh no problem uh very hot but everyone thank you uh for coming by and i'll see everyone on the next one and i will play this video i'll put a little music on and that's it love you guys peace